Welcome back to the Blood Prison Shakedown. Look where we're at. We're not even in the studio no more. Because I got four people with me from the early days. And we'll talk about that. Actually, only one of them is from the real, real early days. But um, let me introduce some people who are our OGs of Blood Prison all the way back to our old haunt. We've got Jen Berkey, who's my acting manager currently right now at Blood Prison. Yay! I've got Dawn, who is pretty much everything from security, actor, tickets. She's done it all. Weave is basically the... Run around guy, he's an assistant, and then we got Zach, who is one of the guards with uh, the Warden's Widow. How are you guys doing today? Good, good. So I've been dying to do this podcast for a while. I, I get a lot of shit because no one ever, everyone, everyone always comes to me and is like, when do I get to be on it? And I was like, well, you know, I was like, no, nah, no, I'm not doing that. But you guys, <laughs> you guys for yeah. sure. So I've been wanting to do this one because... We all come from a um, haunted attraction that we opened before we were at the reformatory called the Mad Effects Lab. And we started there in 2013. I know Weave was, you were, you were there from the beginning, 2013. I was just running like ticket booth and just going, doing nightly walkthroughs and just talking to, you know, the guy who owns it and everything. And then Zach and Dawn, you guys came in 2015, right? Yep. Jen, you were 2014. So we're all from that haunt, and it was such, it's so different than it is here. It's like night and day. Much. Yeah. So we're going to take a stroll down memory lane, and we're going to talk about the Mad Effects Lab and and how we got started and what we're doing now and all that good shit. But, um, uh, and we'll show some photos. I tried to dig up as many as I could. I didn't have as much as I I thought I did, which is kind of sad. Um, but we'll we'll go through them, and they're all good, tasteful pictures. I'm sure. Oh well, that's a surprise. <laughs> so we're blood prison, but like I said, we started the Mad Effects Lab. Uh, Sarah, let's let's get that first picture up there because we can't uh, talk about the Mad Effects Lab without talking about uh, the guy who started it. All right, so this is the guy who started the Mad Effects Lab, and and previous to that, we had worked at the shop. He's uh, Robert Kurtzman. He. Um, is a special effects guy from Crestline, Ohio. That's where he was born and raised. He was a childhood friend of Weaves. Um, that's how we all met. Me and Weave met through Bob. Um, he started the production company back in 2004, and I was uh, his audio guy and pretty much everything else. Um, but that's where we started, and we opened the haunt in 2013. It's funny because he laid me off in, in like, I don't know, maybe – June or May of June of 2013. He's like, hey, man, I got to lay you off, which is common when you do this stuff. I'm like, all right, it's cool. And I'm thinking to myself, well, I'm probably going to have to like really start thinking about, you know, maybe I should get out of this this business and get a real job. And, you know, then he calls me back about a month later. He's like, hey, we're starting to hunt. And I was like, oh, Jesus. Like, really? He's like, yeah, man. He's like, are you in? I'm like, yeah, of course I'm in. What do you, what do you need? So he wanted me to do his audio stuff, make all his commercials and and do his marketing for him. So I'm like, yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm down. Um, but that is the guy that started it. He's the K of K and B effects, a local guy. Um, he's, I don't know. We, what, what all he's dancing with wolves. You worked oh, on that. And, uh, dances, uh, all of the, most of the evil deads. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, evil dead Two, army of darkness. Uh, spawn. Spawn. Uh, yeah. Uh, what was, uh, uh dust till dawn. Yeah. That was his original story. Was he Nightmare wrote that original Elm story? Street. Yeah. Yeah. Freddy Krueger, Nightmare, Nightmare on Elm street. He worked on Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Yeah. 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 He's, been, he's been on a ton of stuff. Yeah. And he still is. I mean, he's still out and about, um, you know, doing effects and everything. So, um, and he was actually on the podcast, jeez, uh, I don't know, was that about a year ago, two years ago, a year and a half, something like mm-hmm. that. It was after COVID, I'm pretty sure. But I had him on, and that was a good one. So he's been on before, and he's a great friend, mentor, and um, he started that haunt up for us, and we had such a good time there. We had okay. so much fun at the Mad Effects Lab that... Um, you know, there. I'm not gonna lie. Like as fun as this is, and as, as you know, big as it is, there's days I just I miss it so much. I just want to go back there. I want to go back and um, and just redo all that over again. Just to you know, get to know you guys, especially Zach, Dawn, and Jen. I get to know you guys better because I really didn't get to know you guys that well until we were here. Right. You know what I mean? Because like I would just you know, and I think Dawn, we kind of you know connected. Because I would go through the tunnel out back and you and Kiston would be out there, you know, swinging sticks at me and everything. And Jen, I got a good Jen story. Yeah. 
about the first time she scared, well, she tried to scare me. Um, <laughs> let's start with Jen. Jen is currently the uh, acting manager. She handles all the actors here at Blood Prison, and it's quite a job. It's like wrangling cats sometimes, but she does a good job at it. It was her first year. She knocked it out of the park. Jen, tell me like your favorite, what was the most fun you had uh, at the Mad Effects Lab? Hmm. I don't know. I, uh, I, lo- I worked outside one night. That was fun. With Bob. We were, yeah. We were yelling. They were in the tunnel. Yeah. We were out in the graveyard and we were yelling back and forth when nobody was coming through. Um, I'll be honest with you. It's going to sound really weird, but I actually enjoyed the one or two nights that I worked in the clown room. Never thought I would say that. Yeah, there you um, go. But the doll room was my favorite. and oh, yeah. That's where we met. Yeah. That's home for Jen was the doll room. She was our doll from then until last year, pretty much. Yeah. Dawn, what about you? My gosh, there's so many memories from Mad Effects. It was hilarious almost yeah. every night. There was, it was fun. Yeah. Was I mean, the night she was talking about, we weren't talking like Bob Kurtzman. We had a, we had a head. And yeah. a bunch of us, me, Jen, Kisten... Andy, we all named him Andy, Bob, yeah. and we were just like throwing it at each other. And when we tore down the Mad Effects Lab, that's actually one of the props you let me have. Yeah, so yeah. I still have Bob. What about Weave? Oh man, there's so many. Well, yeah, it's hard to pick just one, isn't it? I think, you know, to put it in, in, in scope, you know, I had really no idea at Haunt Business. When yeah. he started, I mean, when he when he said, "Hey, we're buying these things and putting up all back," I thought, "Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> what's next?" And then we got to pe- work with people like House. And yeah. Becky. Yep. That was, you know, I'm not an actor. I mean, I do my best. I'm amazing talent. I'm yeah. to me we two was, years. He was the man. But well, you jump out of the closet and hit a barrel. Yeah. You, know, right. you, know, you ain't got to act. You don't have to say anything. But watching, I've worked with House and Becky every night, and watching them two work. But, yeah. It's like watching Broadway. I mean, yeah. Just, if you can't learn from those guys, you're not going to. Yeah, House was um, was really good at what he does. Yeah, he's, he's, I mean. And he still comes out, and he'll he'll act the lines here at Blood Prison every now and again. But he, he was good. He would just say things. He wasn't a jump scare guy. Nope. He was um, a psychological scare guy, and he could do it, and he could do it well. Very good, yeah. Super he's, nice guy. So talented. Oh, yeah. Yeah. House Zach rolled awesome. in uh, 2015 and, and was uh, the, in the clowns pretty much the whole season, were you? Well, before the clowns, I had to go through the initiation uh, to actually put in the work and everything like that, which was actually when I met my father here. Oh, um, oh that told, initiation. I was told that there's a character here that you're going to have to play a night or two before oh. you're allowed to pick whatever you want. The big guy. I said, okay, who am I going to play? He said, Uber C. Yeah. And I was like, okay. And then walked up, walked up to him. And he's like, this is your dad. I was like, cool. Hi, dad. And he, he would hit the I graduated barrel. to daddy after five minutes. <laughs> I, he, would, he, he would have to hit a barrel. And after the barrel, I'd have this giant suit on with these giant fists. Yeah. Frankenstein. Big mask, mask, yeah. And I was like triple my size, and I would have to run down the hallway every time he'd scream, My son's down there, sign like, <laughs> and everything like that. And that was the first time I ever met him. Before I met you, you didn't say anything to me, but you had a really thick mustache on. What? Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> I had a mustache. I, I don't have like the weave the weave going know. on there, but I don't even remember the mustache. I don't remember that either. He, you wouldn't have recognized him. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was yeah, it was uh fleeting. But He's like, I'm I'm I'll grow it out if you want me to. You guys want me to grow it out? Sure. (laughs) Jen's like, no. Please, no. I don't think he will. I see you every day. I don't want to see you. Dude, my mustache grows out pretty good. Now, up here, it's all white, trashy, and crap. I can't get get no good beard going on there. You look like Steven Seagal. But like... No. No. But my my mustache actually grows in pretty good. What? Nice. What did we call this weave on you? Remember we'd call that? I'm not sure. The saddle? Oh, the saddle. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's had a few names to sell. Yeah. So, <laughs> at the Mad Effects Lab, I remember um, Jen. One night, we were we were um, I was doing a walkthrough. I don't know what year it was. We were doing a walkthrough, and I actually got a picture of Jen in the makeup that she was wearing. Um, that I'll sh- we'll show later as we as we go through. But I was walking through, and I was with some people. I don't remember who it was, but. I think it was a friend of Bob's or something, and I don't think I had seen you at that point, 
But um, I walk through and I get into the doll room and I, and I look down at her and I was just like, she real? She, I don't know if she's real. And I like got, and I get down there like, what in the hell's going on? Like, oh, I think, I, you know, but the makeup was really good. The paint, you know, what they did on her was really cool looking. Um, and she sat still, didn't blink or nothing. And I can't remember what you said. You said something. And I was like, ah, damn. What the? And I was like, she's real. And, we, you know, we just kept walking. <laughs> I don't remember the first time, honestly, I met Dawn. Um, I remember walking through the, walking through the tunnel, Tunnels. and you and Kiston were in there, and like I don't, rem- I don't remember exactly what happened, but I knew I was like, I'm gonna like her because she's, she's got that attitude. You know what I mean? She'll say anything, she'll do anything. We and, had uh, fun. Back we did. Then. We really yeah. did. And the different, I mean, it was so different because everybody was volunteer. Nobody got oh, yeah. paid. We, we made Nobody. food every mm-hmm. night. At, every night. At the end of the night, and yeah. you guys had tents, and there was like hot yeah. chocolate, and usually like, yeah. it was cool. Because uh, Sean was usually, that's how I met Sean the first time, too. Sean. Uh, oh, my God. It must not have been too, oh, Sean. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, he's going to kick my butt for yeah. that. <laughs> we saw him at Transworld this year. No, I missed it. Yeah. yeah. I missed Sean. Weave I'd known for a long time, and I got a good picture of Weave, too. Um, <laughs> the first time I met Weave, he had no beard. I don't think he had any facial hair. I, had, I always had a good... Because when you we first opened, you came beard. in, and I met you, and you were trying... I'll never forget this. You were trying to get me to... You wanted to give me music. He's like, yeah, hey, I heard you're, you're getting music. You need to build the music. He's like, yeah, Bob wants us to build as much music as we can. He's like, I'm going to give you a bunch of Dick Dale CDs. I was like, what the... Who? Who? And he's like, yeah, Dick Dale. And I was just like... All right, dude, whatever. That was my first time uh, when I met Weed, but we actually went to a Rob Zombie show yeah. uh, and hung out up in Cleveland with Bob and yeah, me, and that, God, was, that was that was when you still lived in Mansfield. That was cool, yeah. I, I, was, I was still at the prison. I still worked there. Yeah. But Weed was a good actor. I don't care. Just hitting the barrel. He was good. And Zach, no offense, but I don't remember meeting you the first time, honestly. We, we, I, I saw you for about two seconds, and I was like, I bet that guy's really mean. <laughs> I'm not. He, I think he came the year after because I, he came I started the second year. You started in fourteen. Yes, I think. Because you were at Rob's haunt. Rob, yes. Until it closed, and then you jumped on with us. Because Sam and Keegan yes. went to school with my oldest son and brought me over there, and that's all she wrote. That was I had a blast. But with him, I remember him as Axel. We were all out back. It was a slow night. Sam and Keegan was out back. Cody Wilhite was doing Uberstein. Yep. Yep. What was that other guy? Rob. Rob would climb that. Rob. Yeah. 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 He yeah. would be like the that pirate looking clown yep. dude. Yep. Yeah. 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 It was no rhyme or reason at the Mad Effects Lab. I mean, it really wasn't like, you know, a, a, it was it was the original idea that Bob told me was like, I just want to build movie sets. Just that's all I want to do is just yep. build movie sets in a row, and that's you know no real theme. What's the theme? There really isn't one. <laughs> You know what I mean? It was like, you know, the first scene you, scene you walked in was a morgue. Yeah. And then you, and then from the morgue, well, it was kind of a little dark, little dark hallway, and then the morgue, and then you went into that little lab room. Yeah, the science lab. Yeah. And then after that was like just, uh, well, I don't even remember what that really what's called, just maybe an extension of the lab, but there's just wires and, and just shit everywhere hanging like a... <coughs> there was like the alien room, computer stuff. Yeah, yeah. computer type yeah. shit. Yeah. Um, and then you went out of there. That's where we've jumped out of the hall. And the, the Uberstein dude come running down the hallway. And that cage. There was the, yep, there was a cage. And then we went into the werewolf room, right? We had the werewolf puppets. Yeah. Basically, everything we had at Creature Core, we made for the haunt. Mm-hmm. And just threw it all in there, masks and everything. And then from there, you went into the Egyptian room. Yep. Oh, that was pretty cool. Yeah. I, so I we had that one night. Yeah. So there was like a, we had that coffin in there with the mummy mm-hmm. that kind of just sat up a little bit. Mm-hmm. And then we had a coffin or a mummy come out of the closet. And then that was Jen's room. The doll room was after that. Mm-hmm. And then the first year of the Mad Effects Lab, the room after Jen's was clowns. Mm-hmm. That used to be all clowns in there. And then the second year we changed that she, over oh. to like a house, mm-hmm. like a Texas That's Chainsaw house. the year I started. Yes. Because I was in there in Darien, actually. Yeah, I found some pictures of Darian at the, at the lab, so yeah. we'll have to give him props. When yep, he was. He was. Because he worked that night with me, and he had a heck of a time. It was his first time ever working, and uh, he didn't wear a belt, and he was trying to run with the chainsaw. Drawers are falling down. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. That would be scarier than the chainsaw. Yeah, <laughs> that, <laughs> that was hilarious. I run and I don't oh, dude. No, him and scene kind of got into it a couple of times yeah. that night. That's easy. Well, yeah, but gotta love scene. Oh yeah. Well, you the know? funny thing is, is so after like that house, there was well, there was the kitchen. Is yes. there, but I, we still have like the stove and the refrigerator from the kitchen from the Mad Effects lab. It's oh, still in the wow. house here. That's and all the shit. cabinets and everything. That's we saw all that stuff. Man. I didn't realize that was and the, some I of remember, the wallpaper. Yeah, I, yeah, I that's remember, true. I remember hauling that stove from yeah. Steve when we yeah, got so it. That thing's with a four, five, six oh, man. pounds. Oh, dude. That's heavy. solid antique. Yeah, yeah and, and I'm still waiting for Steve to call me up. Hey, <laughs> you got that stove in that fridge? Because I'm like, stove. we still uh, got it, man. We <laughs> still have it. But he's never <laughs> called for it. And then. Uh, yeah, after that we had a dark maze where we had a line of these uh, statues that looked like they're just look statues, but there's someone behind them that would you know be behind the wall, the living statue. The things. living statue, and yep. Yeah. yeah, and that dark maze was really good because it was pitch black. I mean, you'd yeah. walk in there and you could not see your hand in front of your yeah, face. And then after that, you went into yeah. the like that tunnel that uh, we made that that tunnel that was yeah. I think it was themed after kind of a Nightmare on Elm Street yeah, type kind of. The, with the like, the, like, thing yeah. Thing, like yeah, yeah, the boiler, yeah. and then the butcher room, yep. where Sean Elliott was a lot of the time, and his wife would come in and work. Yes. Yeah, and then yep. we went outside to the the first year. It was just a we just did a little trail in the woods. Yeah, it was, there was no tunnel. It was just a trail. It wasn't just a trail. A little bit. Out and there. if it rained, we didn't use it. Yep. You know. Yeah, we couldn't. Too muddy. Yeah, the second year they put that big tunnel out there. Like they made that giant tunnel. I remember coming to what was watching a build. I'm like, oh, this is gonna this is gonna be awesome. That it that was, thing was fun. We oh, yeah. we would sit out there when we were slow. Me and Kiss <coughs> would sit out there. We'd be letting off the fire extinguishers and stuff. Yeah, yeah. The, oh, whole, yeah. Wood, the whole woods was cool. It yeah, was. it really was. The, the Evil Dead cabin. And, the, and, yep. you know, is that what the, that was? The, one, the, that one was supposed. To, I, th- I think it was supposed to be like the Evil Dead like feel from the one cabin. And then you had the witch's cabin, which was Wasn't, the one on the other they, side. We had the Silent yeah. Hill character, too, didn't we? Like the big... Uh, that, yeah. I think, didn't Cody do that, or Corey do that once? Yeah. That's the one you're talking about? With Maybe. The, with the, the, the big the diamond shaved head, yeah. yeah. I, I yeah. think Corey did that the one year. The and then the second year, I think that's when we moved the clowns outside yep. to yeah. the to the woods. And that was yeah. In front of the pretty much, the, yeah, but right there at the end. Yep. Yeah, good it was a good time, man. Good time. It really was. It was... You know, and I, like, I mean, the first year here was overwhelming. Oh, it was brutal. It was to brutal say, to say the least. I mean, it was. You know, we come. Nobody. From, we come from a good time, have fun atmosphere to this is work. Yeah. And you're going to entertain a lot more. We entertain more people on a Friday night than we do in a whole. The whole season almost oh, yeah. over there, you know. So. But I think a lot of us was yeah. even not even prepared because no. we came from like a haunt where you could, no. on a bad night, if everybody called off, you could run it with 12 no. people. Yeah. We oh, God. To, yeah. yeah. Know, so that know, it was yeah. overwhelming that know, first year. I know how hard Jen's job is because I had to do it the first year. Yeah. So try managing actors when you don't know how to manage actors. Oh, no. I remember. I tried helping. I, oh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's Dawn was a zone leader. For a while, and then she went to security, and uh, yeah, yeah, was... I think that's where she was until last year. And I put her outside in the tickets, or not tickets. You were in, the, you were in front of house. Yeah, yeah, leading them in. That was fun, but that was a good time. It the was. Mad Effects Lab was a good way to cut your teeth, and then you know we can get into how we ended up over here um, down the road. But uh, let's let's pull up the next photo, and uh, we'll go from there. This picture here has like, well, you know, I'm in it, Weaves in it, and Bob Kurtz, and then everybody else. I think we have a House. Oh, it's, a, it's everybody that worked on the movie. That's the movie. Show. But a lot of those people ended up working at the haunt. There's Cody, right? Uh, let's see, Keegan and Sam. Keegan and oh, Sam. Yeah. They both worked Becky, the haunt. Yeah. Becky uh, worked the haunt. I can't remember the monster. She was a student. Yeah, she was at the school. That was her name was um, Tate. Tate. Yes. Yeah, and, uh, Cody and uh, uh, Lindsay. Sarah's in the back next to me. Yeah, Tom Lutala. 
Where's Tom at? Right above Lindsay. Oh, yeah, right behind Lindsay. Oh, scenes there. And then who, who's standing in front of me? What's that girl's name? Where are you at? Where are you? I I'm all the way far you. right. How do you not miss me? Look at that big, fat, brown guy. Oh, oh you me. had dark hair. She's, she's on the... She's yeah. in the monsters. Uh, monster dolls. Oh, my God. I can't believe I can't think Who is that, Dawn? You know who it is. She was on the monster dolls. Sammy. Sammy, yeah, that's Sammy. right. Yep. She was a student as well. Sammy Harper. Yep. And then Becky. There was two Beckys. There's... I, and then one right beside me is Becky. I can't remember her last name. She was like a shop assistant. Wait, where the hell are you? I'm over on the left by, by the redhead by Sarah. In the You're blue in the shirt? Blue? Yeah. That's yeah. you? That's weird. Yeah, I told you I had a baby. That's creepy. Isn't that weird? That's as weird as you with hair. I'm not okay with that. any of that. <laughs> That's why I grew my beard. That, I would, didn't want to look at it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you just didn't want to shave anymore, you lazy fucker. Well, that's it. I mean, that's that so I would have never in a million years thought that was you. Yeah, that's it. So that was kind of like the beginning. That was right before we started even talking about doing the Mad Effects Lab. Um, but we worked on movies there, and that was always a lot of fun, too. Uh, the next yeah. photo here. Let's get the next one up. Or, uh, yeah, it's Cody. Yeah, it's Cody. Cody is super clown. Uber yeah. I want who's, act- who's who's standing beside Cody? I can't tell with all that makeup on. I won actor of the night that night. Did you really? I did. Can't make it out. She's hideous. Whoever. I was. <laughs> I was. They wrapped my oh, eyes. You? you better be nice, sir. That's hilarious. Yeah. With my makeup, though. You're supposed to be hideous. I was. I, That's I, actually a compliment. So. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. so that was outside, and you know who else was good out there was Keegan. Keegan, Keegan was hilarious. Yeah. Ke- that dude would like, if he was sitting here right now, and talk, you were talking to him, you'd never believe he would do a lot of the shit he did. No. What was the character's name he did, Zach, that he was chasing the, at the with the mopsicles? He'd take people's hair, and then he'd... He'd come sit- flying out of that, that box, I believe. Yes, yeah. yes. Good times, man. That was good. That was fun. Keegan was, was full go. He would climb on the wall, too. Keegan and up. Sam. I. Yeah. Oh, my God. There's the next one there. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. <laughs> now, that is here, I believe. That is here. So, that was uh, like our first kind of. Uh, that. Was that the photo shoot? Or was that a night? Is that, is that just a night paranormal pen? That was the year. Of Barry because that, 2018 yeah yep. because my that was your, that was your dog the bounty hunter came through here that so I think so. 2018 was yeah that was that yeah. was dog was that long ago yeah right it doesn't yeah. seem like it though so the next one oh my god <laughs> I know where that was yeah. that was at the uh, escape rooms no that was that's upstairs that's here. I have the pictures. Yeah. Cause I yeah. You've been um, eating that mint out of the outhouse. I don't even know. Dude, she was like, <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you what she was doing to pop a smurf for that. Her, I told her not right to before eat that. that. Mint, she didn't hey, there's another one there. That's uh, Dawn, Jen, and uh, one of our former actors, Danny. Danny, he was his own leader for a hot minute too. Wasn't that a commercial shoot? I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. No, that wasn't. I wore that pink dress sometimes on a Sunday. I don't remember wearing a. Lacy dress. So after after the Mad Effects Lab, we Bob Kurtzman came over here one year, called it Paranormal Penitentiary, and that was the year before uh, we called it Blood Prison. So some of these pictures are going to be mixed up in that. It's yeah. it's all about just you know how we how we got here and and what happened there was, you know, a lot of people ask how I how I was able to land this, and I'm like, well, I got <coughs> the right place, right time, I knew somebody on the board. And they were looking to get out of the, you know, they were looking for a change is basically how it happened. So, um, but it was night and day from Mad Effects Lab. Like, totally. I remember 2015 uh, talking to Bob at, at the end of the season. I was like, well, how'd we do? And he said, we did, we just did almost 10,000 people this year. And I was like, wow, all year? And he was like, yeah. I was like, that's amazing. Because normally it was like <laughs> three or 4,000, you know, in, in the first two seasons. So the, the third season, it was really getting traction. And then we came over here, and hell, we did 10,000 people in a weekend. I don't think any of us were prepared for the no, first no, night no. that we were here until like 5 a.m. I don't think we were here that late. But Close. We, I remember By going around By the time we cleaned everybody, up and left. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we weren't. Yeah, that's true. I remember yeah. going around telling people 
to st- please stay. I'm going to pay you extra because <laughs> yeah. we were just here so long. There were so many people it out was front. Insane. It, was, it was wild. It was horrible. Yeah. It really was. All right. It was work. Oh, there's my Jen. There's Dawn and Jen again. Oh, boy. Those two are inseparable a lot of the times. That's my girl. We've been through a lot. Okay, so there's some Mad Effects Lab there. So that is Kisten, Kisten Andy, Andy, Dawn, and Rob. Rob. Now, Kisten it was his own leader uh, here at Blood Prison until uh, 2018, yes? No, she didn't work 2018, only 2017. No, she, we worked two years. No, she, she wasn't around the Barry year. No. She wasn't around for that. That was me. That was, yeah. That's when Jen... So... Kisten is one of our original. She's an OG as well, but she passed away, unfortunately, in a tragic accident. Um, what was that in May 2018? May 9th. Yeah, May 9th, 2018. Um, very unfortunate situation, but she was not only his own leader. She, of course, acted, and she helped in the build. She helped in the teardown. She helped out a lot. And when transitioning over, um, all the zone leaders that I kind of brought on was just like, you know, like Sam, because Sam was supposed to come over and, and be the the acting manager, but mm-hmm. she moved. Her and Keegan went to New Orleans. They went down to New Orleans, mm-hmm. yeah. So they were like, she goes, mm-hmm. Kisten's going to be one of the people, and Dawn, and I forget, I don't even remember who the, oh, Jason. Jason and Josh Campbell. And Josh, yeah. So it was like, these are the people you're probably going to want to lead, lead your areas. I'm like, all right, mm-hmm. sweet. Because she was just more in tune with you guys than I was. Mm-hmm. So that's what we did. And then I was like, Weave, you're going to be... You know, because Weave's like, I'm done acting. I think I'm done. Yeah. And I was like, all right, Weave. So you're going to, we, Weave and I kind of tag team that first year, uh, like just, you know, running all through the haunt, trying to make sure everything was still working. <laughs> but that was also in the clown area. But we miss Kisten a lot. I know, I feel in my heart that she would still be here. Uh, the reason why I had you guys on was because it's like, you know, I talked to a lot of other people that run haunts and they're just like, you know, the turnaround every year is, is, you know, a lot, you know, you're talking like 60% sometimes and you don't, you know, the people that, that stick around like you guys, you know, I just appreciate it. You know what I mean? Cause you all help out in, in your own ways. And, you know, Zach went from in-house to now he's a Q line actor and well, weaves weave and, uh, you know, right. you know, zone leader and, and acting care? manager and, and, yeah. and Dawn's pretty much everywhere. So Kisten's the one that actually, brought me into haunting there you go we were mm-hmm. she was doing my nails i've known her and her family and she was i remember painting minions on my nails ah. and we were talking about it i was like yeah i want to try that yeah i think one of our first big like get togethers where we all really met was the crestline harvest festival probably yeah we always did the parade up there oh, yeah, the yeah. yeah. Jo- that so, josh came in mm-hmm. and that funny story with thought. kisten was she used to live because i live in Bucyrus, Well right now but I'm, I'm moving to Mansfield but she lived right around the corner from me like mm-hmm. she literally lived not even a block away from me and uh, I would give her rides to work every every now and again um, but her name was Kisten Singer her her maiden name was Kisten Armbruster I have a cousin with the last name Armbruster and I was like yeah it's kind of funny I said I got a cousin uh, with that same last name I said where are you from and she goes well I'm from Marion originally I was like <laughs> really and she was like, yeah. And I was like, well, my cousin's dad is from there. And she's like, oh, yeah, who is that? I go, and I said his name. I'm not going to say his name because he's a complete douchebag. Um, <laughs> but I said his name. She goes, yeah, he's my uncle. And I was just like, oh. So my cousin was actually technically cousins with, with Kisten, but they never knew each other because, like I said, her uncle is a complete douchebag and, you know, he can rot for all I care. But that's another story. That's right. Um, so, there, you know, it's, it was like a whole connection thing. And, you know, her and I connected in that way. And Kisten, I always had this thing with her where I would, you know, <laughs> and this is all tongue in cheek and in jest. So I don't want to hear any bitching from anybody that might see this. But I would always say to her when she would do something, I'd be like, bitch, don't make me. And I'd put my <laughs> hand always. up like that. And she, cause she would be like, I wish you would. <laughs> Go ahead. You know. It was all a big joke. We had a lot of fun, and we missed Kisten yeah. a lot every day. Yeah. Every day at the haunt, we uh, we definitely wish she was still there. But she was man. That first year when we weren't used to ha- so how Don't many people. Crying. I'm not crying. <laughs> you remember the zone leaders have to do. You had us doing crazy stuff. Like we would go pick no. up so many people. No. 
she would have people hiding in her trunk getting oh, yeah. in here. She did. Like her car was so full with people to come work on. We did. It was like I don't care how they get here because we need as many as we can get. I remember. She did. We went to the hydro. She blew a tire that time. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. You had people driving from Mansfield to Marion to pick people up. We home. did. Yeah. yeah Dawn cool. put a lot of miles on her yeah, car sure that did. that year especially. We did. It was. We had fun. Good time. We really did. There's a good one with Dawn and Kisten. That's Kisten without her makeup on. Yeah. Where was that at? Um, that might be at Bike Week. Bike Week? Yeah. How the hell did I get that picture? We don't want to know those stories. Anyways, next picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's the nose. It's, yeah. It's she, Jamie. And Jamie. She put some... We were getting in makeup that night. And she put some type of white paint on my nose. And no matter how many times we wiped it off, it looked like I was coking it up all night. Yeah, it was paint. Sure it was. Sure, sure it was paint. <laughs> sure. It looked like you were coking it up all night. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, my character was supposed to be a coked out crazy person. So, well, there you go. I wanted to be authentic. She came from Michigan to work that weekend with us. That's my best friend from Michigan. That, that was is, one yeah, of the few Jen times yeah. she wasn't a doll. Jen actually, Jamie and Jen worked in the graveyard because we were passing around Bob. Ooh, and they were wow, good for Bob. skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, that was the night I said that was the only night I worked outside. Yep. Well, you tell, tell Jamie bring her ass down here and work at Blood Prison tonight. Jeez. We've tried to get her to come back. She down. said one time she will. Mm-hmm. Look at that tongue action she's got going on, Don. What was going on there? It's, uh, it's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Are you mad? No, I'm not mad at all. I, <laughs> well, I that's, that's pretty. There we go. I was eating some guts. Look at that one. Yeah. I was eating some guts. That's actually Dawn at home. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> <laughs> It might be. That Apparently was, a stray raccoon got into the cellar. That is actually Matt Effects Lab. <laughs> that was the night Darian worked with me. <laughs> all right, let's 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 address Darian because he's a he's all pissing and moaning because I didn't have him on. I'm like, you know, no, geez, like, I am. I worked with Matt Effects. What'd you do? Three or four days but total? He were, yeah, he was young. He was a yeah. young and like Zach. And he didn't work last season, so... Yeah, he, he held out his real job, which I get. That's the hardest thing. But you thing. know, he annoyed us so bad at the Mad Effects Lab because when we would be in there getting ready for makeup, he would do that stupid Aunt Margaret character. I love that. That love turned that. into Granny Hatchet yeah. here yeah. that he won freaking awards for. Yes, he did. He, that yeah, was... Would come and ask him. Oh, yeah. Moist, oh. Moister than an oyster. Oh, oh my God. God. <sighs> got a, got, she, people would get him wetter in a slip and slide. I remember. He would say that. Like, you couldn't even take him to the store. He would start talking to pe- just random people at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> like, my favorite impression he did was Christopher Walker. Yeah, I haven't <laughs> seen that one. Oh, my God. Yeah, Darian. So, Darian, we know you're an OG. But you got to come back this year or, you know, you're you're dead to us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Rude. Listen, I'm going to tell you guys something. They're real speaking quick. of Darian. <laughs> there we go. And Rob Wynn. Oh, Rob no. Wynn. He worked at the Haunt Across Town. Oh. He actually ran the Haunt Across Town. I love Rob. And he still works with us today. Not as an acting, but on the marketing team. Dawn. Doing Dawn. Dawn. And then that's Darian right there in the back. It sure is. Yeah. That's a good picture. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Rob Wynn is the funniest. I mean, that dude is the, he can talk to anybody in any situation. He can, he, can. he comes back like that. Like you can him. say anything to that guy and he's got a comeback for you right now. Do you want to hear the first time I ever heard him do his, his bit? Is it gonna get it? Was it a tuna can? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, oh, it's inappropriate as hell. No, nothing about a tuna can. Okay. So I remember seeing that, seeing Rob and I'm, I'm thinking... Who's that guy? Because, you know, again, I wasn't as involved with the actors back then. Whatever. It wasn't a big deal. I walk up to do my first walkthrough the night, and it was kind of cold. I tell Bob, I was like, hey, I'm going to go do a quick walkthrough. He's like, all right. I walk up there. Rob is standing. You know that tent we had beside the building? Mm -hmm. All right. And then you stand in that tent. Then you go up those ramps and then into the haunt. Rob is standing in that ramp or standing in that tent. And there's a couple with their daughter. And their daughter is probably, I don't know, 15. Maybe, maybe 16 at the oldest. I'm walking up and I just noticed, and then Rob walks up and he starts talking to him. And they're all like, they're all like this. They're all bundled up, you know, like this. And, and um, 
He looks at the daughter and he says, what's the matter, dear? Are you cold? And she I says, yeah, I'm a little cold. She, he's like, oh, okay. He goes, he looks around and he's like, hey, everybody, she's cold. Let's stand in a circle and piss on her. And I was just like, holy shit. I couldn't believe she said, I couldn't believe you said that. I was just sitting there like, I love this guy. But he was so good that like, I, he could tell that the parents were not going to freak out uh-huh. and get all pissed off. He could tell just by, you know, talking to them for maybe a minute before he said that, that, you know, yeah, they're cool. They'll, they'll be fine with this. And he said, dude, I was just floored. <laughs> and I, I was sitting there and I'm just like, oh my God, I've got my hand in my mouth just laughing. Oh, yeah. The he was he a... Just oh, dude, stinky picky. Oh, my. He was such a trip to work with. And honestly, when I first started wanting to do haunting... Yeah. I worked for him and yep. I went through his haunt the first time and still to this day, his haunt at Hallow Wicked was the, the opening thing was probably one of the scariest things I've ever done. He had like four or five coffins. Yes. And you, he would lock you in an you individual it, yeah. coffin. Oh yeah. And you'd, he, 10 minutes, yeah. 30 seconds, an hour, whenever he'd let you out when he felt like letting you oh, out yeah. and you would go out into like a black maze so you weren't with any of your party or mm-hmm. nothing yeah rob we had a blast oh yeah he knows what he's doing he gets it we got in trouble one night though we were closed because uh it rained and his haunt was outside and it was cold so we all loaded up in his hearse and went flash mobbing to a lot of the different stores in full makeup She's like, dawn was in her element uh-huh. we had other melanie what was her name melanie the cookie Ma- Cookie. Melanie the cookie? Is that Melanie, what no, she was this chick that... Oh, Melanie, she worked here the first year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Sonnenberg or something like that? Oh, no, not that Melanie. No? Oh, okay. Melanie that she got mad, she left because she didn't win Actor of the Night, and she left, she went down to Mohegan. I, I, don't, I know who you're talking about, I don't remember her name. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. She's the one that like wanted us, and again, we're not trying to talk shit about people. No. People that came through. She wanted to... Um, she had this thing about us putting... Cotton and latex, that's all she wanted. I just want cotton and latex on I me. Mean, we're like, yeah, we don't do that. You know what I mean? We got like actual appliances and stuff. But I mean, that's, you know, everybody's got their own groove, their own thing, you know what I mean? She so. did her own makeup for a while. It was yeah. cool. And I think that she was just comfortable with doing something like that. But but yeah, she, that uh, was, uh, yeah. God, just thinking about all the people that have passed through oh, man. that aren't here, that, you know, most of them leave on good terms, but some <laughs> don't. And, you know, again, this is kind of me bringing you guys on here, commending you. Um, and I just want to make sure that, you know, you guys stay in line. And I mean it. Oh, my God. That's not, that's not fair. You shouldn't have gave. That's you. Her These are prop guns, by the way. These are replicas. I think her gun's bigger than yours. I don't think so. I made sure. Never mind. I, well, I think it's longer. Yeah. Well, it's thinner, too, though. That's what I'm saying. So I'm just, I got the girl. You better hold it just to make Here's sure. My, no, I don't touch yours. Yeah. No, I, when I got these guns, not to get off track, but when I got these guns, That's like you can ask Jen, like if somebody walk in the office, I'd be like, all right, listen, I'm walking around the hallway just pointing at everybody like, what are you doing? I'm like, it's replica. They're like, it don't matter. I'm like, yeah, I don't care. I would, I would be in the other room and I'd see him like a little child sneak around and I'd see him <laughs> pointing at him. I'm like, like, what are you doing? Jen always hated it when I went. Stop it. Ooh. Rob, Rob in the baby outfit though. Oh, Rob, yes, yeah. With the baby, he- the baby heads where I met I you. Have the a, I have a lot of vision, a lot of memories, but and that will never go away. I got a good I one will of Rob. Never unsee that. I've got a good one of Rob coming up here. We'll see. I love uh, let's Rob. see the next one. Oh, coincidentally, just so everybody knows, because I got so many people here tonight, we have so many guests. We decided to do the podcast in a. A different area of the prison. We're actually in the Shawshank Redemption's warden's office. So this was in the movie, The Shawshank Redemption. I figured it would be a really cool spot. There's a ghost hunt going on. So we couldn't do the normal place I wanted to. But just if people are wondering why we're in this weird room, this is it. Shawshank. It's not not weird. It's It's weird compared to what we are. It's beautiful. Mm. So this this picture here. Look at Nick's face. I know. You know why I make those faces? Because everyone wants me to smile in pictures. So that's what I do. Is that fair? Yeah. Wait, Who's behind that? Does not look like you. No, that's, 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 that's right after. How does that not look like me? That's totally him. 
Me, Allie, and him. I think it's Is that Billy behind it? Who's that behind you? That's Josh. Josh? It's like a ghost hunter dude. Oh. He's not important. Just kidding. Oh. Are we just roasting everybody up on here? Right? We are, yeah. He says we're six we're that okay. was like, remember that you, you lost all that weight for a while back. I think that you were, me. Yeah, you just. I lost weight in that picture. Not in that picture, I but. Don't know, man. I, I don't know. That That's me. How is it? Hey, whatever, man. If you say it's you, it's you. Okay. Okay, do a side by side on this one. That's me. Okay. <laughs> why, why you don't, got that deer? You got a deer in the headlights. So because Dawn, Dawn, listen. Here's the thing. Dawn always gets <laughs> her phone out. Like, we can't go, you can't go take a shit without Dawn That's true. and her damn phone, and she'll run in and be like, or calling ah. you, or calling you on, on, yeah. ding, 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 and the answer. And what did I say? Uh, Sometimes that's all the memories you have left, and aren't you glad? Because look at the ones that I have. Yeah. Well, that's why I make that face. Apparently, that doesn't look like me, so I'll, I'll make sure to make that face But listen, no, he steals my phone, too, and takes pictures. Do you, I do that to everybody. I was going to say, do you have any idea how many oh, I customers? Got oh, I know. With me, the guard, and like, you know, outside, that he'll be like, oh, yeah, I'll take a picture for oh, you. Oh, yeah. He'll take three selfies oh, dude, and yeah. not take the picture. No, I'll take your picture, too. <coughs> I'll act like I'm dicking with it. I'm just like, he, oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, got it. Ready? Back when we first came here, when I was like his assistant or whatever, and I was trying to do inventory, we were tearing all that stuff down, he hacked my damn tablet and hacked my Facebook. I didn't do that. Yes, you did. It still it got, still pops up on my memories. Yes. <laughs> Does it still pop up on your memories? Yes. That is awesome. <laughs> yes. I'm so happy. That makes me happy. Yeah, it denies it at first. Totally. <laughs> totally oh, it's still there. It's, it's a memory. Oh, oh cool. Wow, really? That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I never did that. Oh, it's still there. Cool. <laughs> okay, here's a good one. Okay, that looks the most. Oh my goodness. That is at ink, ink. in the clink. Ink in the clink. Before it became incarceration. Look at that. I know. That's when we had the booth up on the, up on the hill. Up on the hill. So it was me, Dawn, and Weave, and I think that is Amber in the background. Yeah. She was yeah. used to be a crew member. See how mean he's looking? I was having a lot of fun that day. We do have fun. We had a lot of fun at Ink. Ink's always a good event to do this at. It is. I feel like every face that Vic makes, he's about to drop the sickest album ever. Yeah. The like sickest he's... album? Yeah. He could have yeah. been a rock star. Oh, dude, I'm telling you. Yeah. He could have been a rock star. Look at that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's that was the other, the other thing about getting the photos, because I, I text all you guys saying, hey, send me some photos so we can you know look at some stuff over. These are all from, usually the ones that are out of focus are Dawn's <laughs> pictures. <laughs> but I'm going to use them anyways. Yeah. Jen, Dawn, and Weave. It's because you the, work me so hard by the time I have, I don't have yeah, the strength that's, that's to bullshit. hold it. <laughs> That's bullshit. It's true. Yeah. You that's know. You know. You know. No, nobody knows. Yes. You don't work hard. That was clear as day. <laughs> that's right you, outside the Air Force One door you, right there. What are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing. That's actually, I think that's pretty like recent. standing for attention. I was, I was meditating. He stared out into space wondering where he went wrong. <laughs> yeah. like, why am I here? How did I get here, man? He's looking, he's looking at the line going, oh, this is going to be a long night. Yeah. That's what's going on there. Dawn is, yeah, again, at least the picture's in focus and we can tell. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh my. <clears throat> wow. There's Darian. From Mad Effects Lab. Hashtag black all over the face. <laughs> look how young he What were we doing to that yeah, guy? What were we doing on that one? Oh, uh, I don't. He, oh, he's definitely, yeah, he's black. And I don't eyes, remember either. what he did at the Mad FX lab, honestly, all of it. Dar the, the, Darian, you can put him any room and he will rock it. Oh, yeah. Darian, like, the first time I met him, he came out of the closet in the house with the chainsaw. That's what he was doing. He had to hide in there because if he ran, his pants would fall down. Well, I think that's kind of where everybody hid, but he would like run. He came out and ran like just beeline right in front of us and we stopped and we're like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, because Darian's a big boy. Yeah. And uh, I told him, I, I stopped and I go, you know, we walked by, I go, hey man, I said, from now on, wait till we get to the kitchen. Wait until they get to the kitchen, then run out of there and chase him into that room. He was like, okay. <laughs> you know, I was just like trying to give him a couple pointers, you know. But he did good because he's big and he's kind of, you know. He, once he came here and he could do, like explore different characters, man, there's seriously, and I'm not just saying that because it's my kid, like there's nothing he can't play. Oh yeah, he can, he's I great. mean, he rocked, he got that, last year they put him down, he did that doctor and he got an award for that one yeah, too. Yeah, absolutely. 
Yeah, he's. I uh, I remember back when he was uh, puck face and yeah. Yeah. hockey mask. Yeah. Yeah. We had we had a group of all these like jocks come through, you know, not scared of anything. Well, I had him in the baby crib, and they were laughing at him. Well, as soon as I dropped the gate to let him out, he hauled after him, and all of them screamed and ran. Yeah. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah, Darian. Darian was good at what he did for sure. He really did. He kept, that was his element. He was good at it. He can rock a sundress too, boy. He really can. <laughs> oh, there house. you go. There's house, house and, and Kisten. That's Kisten. I don't know who the other one is. I don't know who that is either. That's um. We've got to put his glasses on and, <laughs> and get closer that to the screen. That was from the first year. That that was the opening year. Yeah, that was, that the was year. 2013. Was that that Amber? What, remember, there was another Amber there. She her her, um, her boy. Um, uh, was it Gage? Cage maybe. Remember the ones that used to come from Pioneer. He was a young. Boy. Oh yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think um, that might be her. I think she was. She was Gage. She's Gage's mom. I think. I think his name was Gage. Yes. I can't remember what his name her last name. House is another one that that um, spearheaded the Mad Effects Lab with Bob. I mean, him and Bob. And Becky, and I mean pretty much everyone at the shop. But the, you know, House is a haunter from years and years ago. At Blood he's in the Legion of Terror, oh, yeah. you know, with Bloodview and all that stuff. He's worked everywhere. Did you know Mushroom Head? Did all their masks in the early days. Um, but he was very vocal in, in how things went and moved, especially the first couple of years. Well, I agree with the flow. He's a, I mean, he's basically a legend. And oh, he's awesome. And one of the stuff. nicest yeah, people you really could sure. ever meet. Yeah, he's awesome. Nice, yeah, I mean, yeah yes. he really is. The flow, the yep. setup, and how... Yeah. To this day, he still comes back, and he'll do a couple nights, do makeup with us. Oh, yeah. And, you know, and, you know, and that, that, was the, that was the other really cool thing about over there was all these guest actors that would come in, friends of houses, yeah. I mean, and these are all, all these actors are all big these actors, are all legend mm-hmm. actors, you know, big time haunt actors. And here they are in this little backyard setup, you know, yeah. coming down. And I mean, it was, it was cool. Oh, did, it, with them. it was so cool. Cause like when I got to meet everybody, it was almost again, like a, like a fan. I loved mushroom head for years. I had no idea that I would get to meet the people that, yeah that knew them and like worked with them so intricately and stuff and yeah. hell I was watching House and Becky at some of their shows before I even knew who the hell they were yeah yeah me too and uh, not yeah. Becky House no Becky D- Becky did some stuff at their oh, shows too oh before you knew who, who she was yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah yeah cause I remember House like in like 2002 or 3 at a Mushroom Head show he's in their video yeah Oh, the he one, shot a lot the of DVD videos. video yeah, that yeah. I have of theirs. I was watching that not too long ago, and I was like, "Oh my goodness!" We did mushroom head videos at the mm-hmm. shop, like two or three of them. Mm-hmm. But yeah, House was—he was like, you know, he's—he's he's actually one of the guys that when I first came over here, if I was worried about something or if I didn't know what to do in certain situations, I would I would call him because he's just been there and done it. You know what I mean? And he never makes you feel stupid if you don't know how no, to do no. something. Oh, no, super nice guy. Yeah, yeah. he super is. Nice he's guy. awesome. House, house is, yeah, house he is. is great. Yeah. He is. He's, he's quality for sure. And, and just, mm-hmm. you know, he's a legend in his own right in the, mm-hmm. in the haunt world. Does movies, special effects, directs. So much does talent. It all. Yeah. Respect for house for sure. Him yeah. and Becky made my snout for my character. and. That's true. Yes. And it fit it, perfect. It did. <laughs> <laughs> it all did. right. Another one of house there. Yep. Oh, that's yeah. actually at the haunt. That's at the Mad Effects Lab. Effects well, yeah. like the night we were getting, one of the nights we were getting ready in the early days. Oh, there's Jen. There's Jen. So Jen was the doll before she became, well, she was a doll actor. She was in the doll room. Then she became a zone leader and was leading the house upstairs. And then she became the acting manager. That was from uh, one of the inks. It was. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because that's, that's uh, me in the yeah, background. That's the <laughs> It is. Is that what that... That was the year you oh, was yeah. mad because that was the year I broke my tooth. I wasn't mad about that. Oh, I thought it was I, amazing. No. That was horrible. <laughs> he got mad when you fixed it. I yeah. know he yeah. did. Yeah. It's a You're, <laughs> Dude, he quit talking to me like for two weeks because I got my oh, tooth Oh, no, I was not fixed. happy about that. I was not. Because I'm like, you're perfect now. Yeah. And she went and like fixed it. Like, you, you know what? I could not find that picture. You're lucky because I had it ready to go. Uh, In I have, my mind, I had it ready to go. I'm like, I have oh, it's gonna be good. so many of those. I have every Mike Tyson meme that you Oh, yeah. Oh, or dude, we were, we were brutal. Yeah. Or the West Virginia. Yeah. Yep, West Virginia. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah we Allie brutalized. shows up with a candy corn for ink and yeah. tells me, just put that in your mouth. Yeah, some chiclets, anything. Yep. I didn't, I didn't want that. I wonder I still talk to you guys. <laughs> 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 okay, so there's uh, Jen and Dawn. That's going to be clown area. That's probably yeah. 2017 or 18. Something like that. I would say 18. <laughs> we were just like, hold on, man. Let me get that. I know. <laughs> That's over in the East Cell Block. Yeah. I think it was 2018. That was during the build. The build here is horrible because you got to set it all up and you got about maybe a little more than three weeks to do it. And then you got to tear it all down because at the reformatory, I mean, we're not just a, a haunt. Like the Mad Effects Lab was what it was. Right. He doesn't do anything but tell us what to do. <laughs> 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 I mean, he's the boss. <laughs> He's the boss, ain't he? Don't he run? Probably because if I, I didn't, you guys would be running around in circles, bumping heads and everything else. She, she no, we get stuff done when the girls do it. Oh, okay. It's usually more efficient. Sure. That's why I didn't show up. <laughs> yeah, oh, hey, yeah, pretty your, useless. That's your story, Don. Uh, hey. There's another Don and Jen picture. That was at my grandbaby's uh, baby shower. You know, I think that is weird because you guys look kind of normal. Yeah. Mm. We are normal. You know where they know where they park, right? <coughs> oh, there we go. That's better. Oh, there we go. Dude, look Kissed at that. Look engine. at Jen's makeup in that picture. I, that's why I grabbed this one. One, again, some some pan respects to Kisten. Um, but uh, yeah. Jeff did my makeup there. Yeah. Jeff's yeah, over. He certainly did. <laughs> Paranorm- paranormal pen. It yeah. was nothing but blood. Oh, dude, it was it was. Ink so was bad. so horrible that year because oh, yeah. we were so caked in fake oh, blood. Yeah. And, and, and it was scab just, blood. Yes. And it's sticky and just gross and it sucks. And yes. look, look at Jen. Was, just look at her. She's just like miserable. She's pleading for an early death. <laughs> Kissing his smile and she goes, I ain't going to wear that fucking oh, bullshit. <laughs> I saw that picture. I'm like, that is amazing. Even the blacked out eyes. I'm like, oh my God, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Dude, he just like... just. Cold and just She's gonna kick. I'm here. glad you didn't get all my pictures. Oh my gosh! I yeah, but this bunch. was a good. This was a good one. Oh, yeah. Our makeup has definitely one. progressed. Oh man, it's amazing. Oh, yeah. Now it's yes. just out of its world. I mean, the makeup team last year was probably the best makeup team we've had. Night and day. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There we go. That, that is the great... first makeup I saw Jen in. I was telling that story she earlier. About she when only she did me. that one a couple of times, though. Yeah. I have another one. I had a dark wig. It was almost like a gray. Mm-hmm. But she was like, I mean, well, one, Jen is, I don't know if you can tell or not, but Jen is tiny, okay? So when you're, when you're small. You are, Jen. Yeah, you're tiny. When you're small, it's easier to get those, oh, that, that's a bubbles. mannequin or that's a, that's a prop of some sort feel because you're small. When you're a big dude like me, they know as soon as they walk in there, oh, yeah, that guy's, you know, he's mm-hmm. going to do something. But she just sat there, and I swear that was the face she made and everything. Mm-hmm. Just sat there, just like that. And I don't know what contact she was wearing, but like it looks like her eyes are damn near blacked out. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like, what in the hell's going on? And yeah, she got me a little. Good stuff. Yeah. When I'm standing on the chair in the hallway up in the house here, people would say, I didn't know they allowed kids to work here after I scared them. I'm right. like, really? Yeah. We called her Baby Gap for a minute. We were con- con- you know, con- for a minute? convinced. That's where she did all, all of her shopping. <laughs> I think we thought that name. I forgot about that. There you go. That's good. There's another good. Uh, that's Jen, right? That yes. Is Jen. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought that was a good makeup too. Who is that? That's uh, Becky. That's Becky. Mm, not. Becky did not, the makeup. Not Becky Ingram. No. Yeah, the other Becky. Rachel's what? mom. Rachel. I don't remember their last name. Becky, Rachel. Oh, Becky. Uh, or Betsy, maybe. Betsy. That's, her name. that's who it was. Yeah. Oh, Betsy. Okay. Yeah, because she's wearing the, the mask with the big... Never mind. The big mouth hole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like my smile in that would, Yeah, the it's, the, it's the vampire yeah. mask. And when we first made that mask, because Creature Court is a haunt line, so they sell masks to haunted attractions. We go to Transworld and everything. Uh, yeah, when I first saw that mask, I go, Bob, what the hell is this for? (laughs) (laughs) 
what are we doing here? What? I don't, I don't understand the. He's like, well, that way, you know. I'm like, I don't know. Now, I'm telling you, dude, that mask is gonna be used for other things. Through <laughs> <laughs> the mouth holes, just like. It's, I, nope. Don't and look at Jen. Kidding. She's just grinning. That was 2018, also. That was here. Yeah, that one was here. Yes, it that was. was the Stover Jeff Stover year. did my yep. makeup in that one too. Oh, so whatever year he was here. Because so. I don't remember Betsy and Rachel working at Mad Effects. No. Yeah, they did. Rachel did. Rachel did. Right? Not not. Not Betsy. No. Yeah. No. Dude, Betsy was like she. We had her in the West Cell Block. Never. She wore that black bodysuit. Yeah. Black. She was good in she that. She was good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Huh. All right. This is us in New Orleans. Me, Jen, Danny, and the guy on the far left is George. George. He was his own leader here at uh, Blood Prison. He's another one that we've lost. Um, it was a very, very sad day. Long, I mean, it's always sad, you know, when this happens. But um, George was very sudden. It was on Christmas Eve, I believe. It was yeah. two years ago. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, he just... I don't even know what his official cause of death was. It was something to do with... He had some health issues. I know that. And I think he... He kind of, I don't want to say he knew, but like he made, he talked to a lot of people that year. Like he talked to me a lot, like about, I really want to do this and I've had fun doing this. And I'm like, oh, hell yeah, man. And, you know, maybe he put the writing on the wall a little bit, but um, he was amazing. He was one of my favorite people at the haunt. Very much so. Absolutely. You know, he came in and just like did exactly what we asked him to do. Yeah, and he I... didn't, he didn't blink. Never he did he blink ever. He just did it. He was Good my guy. right-hand guy when I was on leading, and that's why I wanted him to take over when I yeah. left. That and he I, did, and he did, and it didn't mm-hmm. miss a beat. Mm-hmm. And he took over, and, you know, mm-hmm. it, it was a very sad situation because George was a one of the sweetest guys you'd ever meet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Talented he, rapper. He yeah, he was, a, he was a rapper. He, he, there's, he's got a, a Spotify channel. He's even done a song with Jelly. Yeah, did a mm-hmm. song with Jelly Roll. Mm-hmm. Dude, he did stuff with, he got... Cheat, not Cheech Chong to do an intro on one of his songs mm-hmm. and Bill Mosley from the Devil's Rejects mm-hmm. he also did that yep. and one of the his last year here at Inc there was this band like they played the main stage they were called the Butcher Babies and like somehow he he got a picture with them and they sent him a picture like he came to he came to the to the pond and was like check this out and I opened the envelope and it was like the Butcher Babies with him I was like that's awesome I was like, what the hell? So he had this way about him, man. He was a hustler for sure. Yep, he was. George was. But that was in uh, New Orleans. We went to a, a convention called HauntCon, which, you know, it's, it, it was an okay convention. They had good, some good seminars, but we got to go to New Orleans. So it was like, that was kind of one of the main reasons we went down to that. And there was other haunts open down there that we went to. Rise Haunted House and um, Terror on the Coast uh, that we all got to go to. So that was, you know, that was fun too. I met a lot of people from the Terror from the Coast. Yeah. That was called. Terror yeah. on the Coast. Yeah, and uh, I'm still friends with them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, uh, look at that. Two peas in a pod. Uh, <laughs> it's the elevator. That's, that's some elevator action. Elevator yeah. See, but you see how nice and sweet you look. Yeah. Yeah, you. Jen. People yeah. just don't know. People just don't know. I'm like, you're, I'm you're, nice that sweet. nice, sweet look is Yeah, right. so sweet to make your teeth rot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. Small doses. Oh, my. There's another Jen. I like that hair that she did, too. I still have that wig. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, that Jen, Jen played the doll, and it was, you know, that was, she owns it. She still does. She does. That's her spot. For sure. What do we got next? Oh, Josh. Oh, this is Josh Campbell. And this is at the Mad Effects Lab. Yep. That's the side, that's the sideboard? Yep. Yeah. That was the coolest thing, man. When you get that thing running. That's yeah. Cool. Josh was, was very good, too, with what he would oh, do, gosh. too. And he was <coughs> self-taught a lot on everything. He did. He did a lot of the stuff mm-hmm. on his own. Mm-hmm. Josh, good guy, too. Still, yeah, he still, he hasn't mm-hmm. guest acted. Uh, he did uh, two seasons ago, I think. Do you remember that year, Inc., we were out there on the hill and he did that, like, janitor? <laughs> yeah. Good Lord. Ned. That was a, yes. He called it Ned. Because that was the year Dom got her fucking Connie nickname, Ooh. too. Dominique. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> she was on the Inc. crew that year. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he would, it was so funny because I saw him messing with these people and he had this, this uh, squirt bottle and he, it, was, it was made to look like window cleaner. 
and he was like cleaning something with it, and then he just starts. And the people were so freaked out about that, and he's laughing. He's like, "It's just blue Gatorade," you know what I mean? It looked like Windex, but he's like, "It's just blue Gatorade." And they're all freaking out. Yeah. But people just believe what they see, you know what I mean? But no, Josh was—he was at the Mad Effects Lab, and he spent a few years here with us, um, a makeup artist, mm-hmm. and uh, he's just an all-around good dude. Honor yeah. went to Midwest with me one year. I took him down. We had a good time down there, in Midwest, when it was still in Columbus. Yep, he, we had fun with Josh. He, yeah. him, and. Jason, Jason and Rob Wynn did my life cast yeah. one time. And me and Kistens, that was, that was oh, fun. I bet you that Unique. was fun. Get Dawn under the life cast, just get under the bandages, keep that quiet for a minute. No, the serious. alginate. Yeah. You, mm. Did they tell you not to eat it? I didn't eat it, but you know what it feels okay. like. I'm not. <laughs> Why do I know what it feels like? Yeah, what's yeah. it feel like, Dawn? Yeah, what does it feel you like? You better stop, you know. You better stop. It's a it's a normal thing there. <laughs> it feels like boogers. It feels like boogers. Okay. It feels like boogers. It's gross. All right. So this picture, uh, another uh, we're done. going back to the Mad Effects Lab. I this this that. picture, I'm so happy that she got to meet Robert England. That's Kisten, mm-hmm. and um, I was also very upset because I, I was working my regular job, and I had to work every other weekend. And of course, this weekend was the weekend that I could not be at the Mad Effects Lab. It was the year I did everything up until that. And that I didn't get to hang out and meet Robert England, so that kind of sucked. But I'm I'm happy that Kisten did and everybody else was there. Cool. Saw a ton of pictures. I didn't oh. to him. Yeah. 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 You know, you know, that's kind of maybe paybacks for Zach Wild. It's all right though. Go ahead. Zach Wild. When you got to meet him and I didn't. I did. I know. And you rubbed it in. I didn't. You d- you did. I don't think I did. You, did, but you made up for it last year. I did, yes. We'll get into that, too. Yes, you made up for it. So this picture is from uh, Love Bites at Akron Haunted Schoolhouse. We went up for uh, their Valentine's Day event, which we don't do that here, um, but they do. And there's there's a host of people in this picture. Country. There's Miho. That's country. He's another one. God, this is bad because we're talking about all the people we've lost. But we got Miho. He's top center. Okay, um, that's country, big country, Zach Evans, yep. who was just on our crew. He passed away right after the Christmas event here this in 2023. Again, another tragic car accident. Um, very sad day. He was on the crew. He was, he was one of my, my main guys on the crew. And I loved him like, a, like my own kid. I really did. I, I miss him every day. I focus on work so much just so I don't think about him. I miss him that much. Yeah. That's how much I miss that guy. Yeah. Um, yep. but that was a tough one. I mean, they all were, but like, I think cause he was the last one so far that I'm just, I was just over it. it you like know our, what I mean? I was the just, last it's just, few from our original, like, yeah. Through. And it was like, I was just like, cause we've, we've lost a lot of people here and it, and it sucks. And I, I got to the point where I was just like, this is, this yeah. is, I'm, I'm really not liking this. You know what I mean? And it was tough to tell everybody. Uh, when that happened but um this was a good night yep that was at love bites akron haunted schoolhouse or was that yeah akron haunted schoolhouse yep. me jen miho there's dawn there's allison tony oh, oh yeah dodson's in there dodson tony um uh then we Jenny. had uh sean and alicia she they're former haunters and the two clowns that's anthony is the one is Anthony who was on the podcast yeah. the previous episode with Aaron and Jamie and then his wife Jamie's down there beside yeah. me and then that who's uh, uh that's um oh my god Yasin oh Yasin Yasin yeah mm-hmm. Yasin up there that was a fun night that was a lot of fun we had a good time oh and Bill is that Billy Billy yeah Bill Hale down there he's a, on the OSR um restoration crew mm-hmm. so he does a lot of the restoration here at the Ohio State Reformatory very very fun evening and um we try to hit those things as much as we can i know we haven't in a while but um there's some laser tag type events coming up maybe we'll all get together and go go That'd be cool go yeah. do one we had fun with the fear of columbus that yeah was we did yes uh nightmare cleveland is doing one coming up soon really so we may go up and do that one That's all that, commercial. that yes. would be awesome that would be cool next picture huh. there we go oh there it is so that's the Mad Effects Lab. That's the front of the building. That's the last year. Yep, that's the final year. That was uh, a lot of fun. I mean, and I God, missed I, that one too because I had to work. You weren't there that night. I had to work. We were. 
<laughs> that was again. That was a bittersweet evening because you know I knew this was probably going to be the last time we we did that because when you when because we're so close to here, we weren't really able to run both of them. Um, you know, as a, as a not compete in contracts and stuff like that. But um, I tried to do everything I could to make the transition as smooth as possible, which was not easy. But that night, I was not in. I was not in any of the pictures. I wasn't doing all that. But um, Bob tried to get me to come out to this one. But I was. I always felt bad because no one got paid, and that we just fed them. And I remember they brought that night. They brought in. Well, we're just gonna do hot dogs. I was like, you're gonna do hot dogs? Like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna feed them hot dogs. And that was supposed to be like a better meal. You know what I mean? It was like hot dogs, and and they were gonna just put them in a big, like one of those big roasters with water. I'm like, fuck that shit. I'm like, I'm gonna grill these hot. I'm at least gonna grill them. So like when all this was happening, I was out on the side just grilling hot dogs, trying to get everything ready so you guys would have some some at least halfway decent food to eat when they were done. Because it was the last night, and you know I knew it was going to be the the last the last time there. But it was it was so different there though. Like we said earlier, you know everybody went there because we loved it. Nobody yeah. got paid. Yeah. You know, so, it was we had fun. It was, and it's what it was for. You know? Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. So that was the the year that. If you worked every night, you got a T-shirt. Yeah, and I still have my shirt. Do you? Yeah, I, got, I still got a Mad Effect shirt. Yep, same. That's awesome. I never. I must one. have lost weight or gained weight because I can't wear that shirt no more. <laughs> well, he's old. You I know. I haven't noticed it. Okay. Well, yeah, yes, we've yes. we've like that. That's so nice. Weave watches out for me. Like if I like if I'm going somewhere, he makes sure and he tags along just to, just to make sure I don't I don't get violated. <laughs> yeah. You're like. The muscle of the team? No, I just make sure. Well, you, I'm making sure nobody else touches you. Yeah. That's well, that's jealousy, not. It really is. I know. I, I was I was actually flattered when he first said that. I was like, really? He's like, yeah, because that's I'll be doing. Oh, okay. You're the violator. I get. I don't have to beat anybody down on the way back. There's. Oh my gosh. There he is. The dog, the bounty hunter. All right. Yeah. So that was a fun evening as well. That was here. That was uh, 2018 <coughs> Blood Prison. So we got Jen in that crazy hair wig. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that night. That was actually um, one of my favorite nights. Yeah? The, Why? Um, because I was working and they told me to come over into makeup that they wanted to make my hair bigger. Yeah. Because of Beth. Of Beth. And I was like, who? And I always wanted to meet her. Just that was yeah. one of my biggest things. And um, I just wanted to hang out with her for a day. It was just like cool to me. And then afterwards, you guys called us over to get pictures. And she went into the gift shop to buy mm -hmm. stuff. And we were getting pictures with the dog. And I looked at you and I'm like, Vic, please ask her. And he comes out acting like she said no. And he goes, she said yes. And I was like so excited. And then um, uh, Ronnie says, well, can we get in the picture? I'm like, yeah. And we both looked at each other at the same time, almost like we were pretending we were cool. We were like, how are you doing? Yeah. So it has become a big thing that uh, uh, Ronnie and I always say to each other. But yeah, that was a very cool night. I have a picture of us together. But You and Beth? Yeah. That's awesome. We went, um, so what happened on that one was uh, they were in town doing, I guess one of them wrote a book. Beth or Dog, one wrote a book. And they were doing a book tour and they went up to the Renaissance Theater and they did, that was like one of their stops. And Beth loves haunted houses. Dog doesn't. He, he didn't want to come. Uh, but Beth's like, no, let's go. So, so they went and there's a local bail bondsman, I think they're in Galleon, um, that were kind of friends with them. And Tony is also friends with that bail bondsman in Galleon. That is right. So Tony's walking around. So when we got wind that they were coming, we were like, um, all right, this will be cool. Uh, so we get there and Ronnie was outside at that point and he had his chainsaw and I'm standing there and they had actually came and went to the food vendors like let's get something to eat so they go over to the food vendors to get food and Ronnie's like should I go scare him I'm like hell yeah go get him <laughs> so Ronnie runs up there with his chainsaw and he's just like and he scares the shit out of dog and they were cool with it but Tony got all fucking butthurt and was just like Ronnie starts yelling at him get out of here <laughs> It was so damn funny because I'm like, Tony, come on, man. Get just back off. Stop scaring dogs. Yeah, it was, it was good. But they came in and went through the haunt. And then we got to meet them afterwards um, in the in the museum. Well, the gift shop. They call it museum store here. Um, then they were like, yeah, let's do some pictures. So they got some pictures and we brought everybody out that, you know, 
kind of the actors where we brought Jen out and everybody just let's get some good actors out here that you know are like um, you know the what am I think like the hero actors got the yeah. best makeup and stuff but he was super nice and he was always like he always said go with he would kept saying go with Christ and, and God bless you and then Beth would roll in and be like this fucking place rules like, geez, <laughs> what the f-? and she, I'm just like damn sailor you know and she was really nice too but they had a good time and then Beth passed away like about six months mm-hmm. after. So when we got the picture, she put her arm around me and she said, us, us girls are going to stick together. Mm-hmm. And she just said some really nice things to me. So I remember that night really yeah. clear. That's awesome. They're both really sweet people, really nice. And they bought stuff at the museum store and, you know, said, you know, was nice enough to take pictures with and everything. So that was good. Good night. That is cool. There oh my go. goodness. There we go. <laughs> so that's here. And that's Rob Wynn. And that's Rachel, the one we were talking about. Yeah, and yeah. Kisten. And, and Kisten. Mm-hmm. And that was probably my uh, most favorite thing I've ever seen Rob do. <laughs> All the nipples. All the nipples, man. There's, I still have some of those nipples. I, I don't. I, that's weird. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, he put them. I had them on my dress. Well, Remember, I had the meat dress that year, too. Yeah. So he put. Yeah. So he was this drunken clown, and he was just saying the craziest shit. He stuck a baby hand out of his belly button. Do you remember that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. I love Dude, Rob. it was, yeah, Rob was great. He I was love great. Rob. And that picture, so he's par- part of the marketing team, and the, the company he works for, the one girl that I talk with a lot, who's like <laughs> one of the head ups there, she was like, I just saw a video of you, Vic. And I was like, oh boy. Uh, what, what video of what? She goes, well, Rob showed it. Like, How's Rob got a video? She goes, well, it was quite a while ago. <laughs> and you were, um, you were making friends with one of Rob's nipples, and I was I knew exactly what she was talking about. I was like, "Oh, I remember that. I remember that." Yeah, because there was like he he just like put nipples all over, and I'm like, I might have been, you know, just being a little kitten trying to get some milk. <laughs> well, he was more than willing to share. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Why was the nipples? I mean, no, there was an incident with Kistens too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. So that, I don't have any pictures of that. I do. <laughs> so Kisten wanted to do this this makeup because Kisten, oh. Kisten was it was gifted up there for sure. <laughs> she wanted to do this makeup where I forgot about that. Where her was nipples were like it? they were like. Do you remember? They were splayed open. You remember how the the yep. clients look like her nipples are just. <laughs> So Dawn, Dawn goes up to, to the one and just like I, thought something was hanging. I thought it was a piece of latex. Like a piece of latex. Like, she goes up and grabs it and yanks it. Because it's like, ah! That wasn't latex. Apparently that was all nip. Well, she, he was putting... I remember that. I sure did. I felt bad. Because yeah, he went... He, cause that he was put funny. The, he put the prosthetics that on her privately because you know she wasn't having her yeah hanging out for anybody buddy and he was teaching me how to do makeup back then and i thought it was a rough piece of latex i'm trying to help and i went to she just yeah. absolutely priceless. that is good good stuff <laughs> oh my gosh yes there's country again there's miho yeah <laughs> i don't know what's going on with dawn she looks like one of the kids off pink floyd the wall hey that's <laughs> my snout that becky and house made i think that was you know there's JD in the background. JD. JD, yeah. That was 2018, I think. Yeah. Why is my head per- Oh, is that someone saying? Somebody. Yeah, you got a nice purple dude, man. What's See, I'm smiling on? in that picture at least. Is that what that is? Is that what that is? It's like a grimace. It's just like, I'm and actually just. Grimace. I'm just kind of baring my teeth. I'm just saying, more like a grimace. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that face before, but usually it's when I'm pinching one off. <laughs> That face? I can't. <laughs> I was definitely not pitching one off in that. Well, hey, bitch. hey, I don't know. Country's looking awful surprised. Maybe. He got the bonus. Right, well, you can't. You can't see what happens my... in blood prison stays in blood prison. Yeah, you, you can't see what my hands are doing. Yeah, I can only imagine. You got country going cross-eyed though. Oh, take it. oh, there what we go. There? That's another ink picture. I had no teeth in that one. Uh, Damn it. I know. You should have been smiling. I could not. Look at Vic in that one. Yeah. Tyler Chubbs in the back there. Chubbs, whatever. <laughs> 
I'll talk shit about Chubbs. I don't give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> he talks shit right back. Oh, that's uh, that's uh, Zach Y. That's backstage. Oh yeah, that's at uh, Inc. Inc. Uh, the first year of incarceration. Yeah. Yep, where you rubbed it in. I, you know what? This this was Weave's picture. Uh huh. And that that's why Kiston got to meet Robert England and. Yup. Listen. Okay. Well, let's 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 go over that. So this this night, I got to go up there. I had all access. I, I get all access every year for. Um, it's just because I used to run like security for Inc. So they're cool about that kind of stuff. So we got to go up there, and that was during Black Label Society. We got to meet uh, Zach Wild. He came into the into the. I got a really good Zach Wild story. He was. They came into the West Cell Block. Right, and have, this was actually pretty funny. I have pictures of that. They go into the West Cell Block doing interviews with him over there, and he got done with his interviews. And Zach Wild is like just a, the nicest guy in the world. They'll talk to you like he he known you for years, but apparently that's kind of his downfall with um, you know, certain things that he does. Like Black Label Side came in to do a tour. A lot of the bands will do tours of the bill. Yeah, I want to check it out. So we're sitting there waiting for the tour, and they all show up, and we're like, is uh, Zach Wild coming? He's like, no, we'd be in here all day. If he was here, let's go. You know, because he will talk to everybody. He's just a really cool guy. So he starts talking about the prison. He was like, well, tell me. He goes, guys, tell me why this is no longer a prison. And, um, you know, so it was Dan Smith and Mike Humphreys, and they start explaining to him why this is no longer a prison. So he goes, hold on a minute. Let me, let me try and understand this. He goes, you're saying that... The inmates sued the state for inhumane conditions. And we were like, yeah, because it got pretty bad here the last few years. And they weren't really fixing anything. So the inmate, he was like, oh, oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Well, try this. How about, don't break the fucking law, asshole. <laughs> and we were just like, we just kind of looked over. And he's like, God, pisses me off. And he just starts, he just starts going off. It was so funny. And we're standing there. And Dan and Mike, their faces get red. And I'm sitting there just like, oh, my God, this is awesome. You know, Zach Wilde is just letting loose on something. He was sitting there like, he was saying, going through everybody, he's like, fuck you, Obama, you son of a bitch. And J-Lo, you can kiss my... I mean, he was saying all... Oh, it was so funny. It was so good. That's and hilarious. he goes, man, it just pisses me off. And he looks at me and he goes, it makes me... And he puts his fist back like he's just going to blast me one. I'm like, fucking do it, man. <laughs> just do it. Go ahead. I'll take, a, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take a punch from Zach Wild right in the face. Come on. And uh, he's like, sorry, that gets me riled up, you know. And, and you know, that was, that was great, though. That was a really funny. Oh, just, we were not expecting that. We were not expecting that at all. And then we start walking back, and we had everything closed off. And there's, like, these bars in front of the West South Block. There's all these, like, people just screaming and yelling at him. And there's girls just going. There's girls like, oh, Zach. Oh. And they're like, we're just like, Jesus, what is going on up there? Yeah, it, it got it got pretty funny, but that was a fun, that was a fun one for that sure. Because I remember seeing you like, let me out. I was like, I can't let you in. I know. And then yeah. the whole time when he was backstage, he kept testing me. Guess where I'm at? You should be here. Yeah, 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 yeah. that might have been. Yeah, yeah, one of those. Hmm. yeah, yeah. I think it was. I got a video of it if you want to watch it. Hey. Well, but you made this up for past it. year. You made up for incarceration. It. You totally made up for it. Uh, two headliner bands, Pantera and Slipknot, uh, the singers. Corey Taylor and Philip Philip H. Anselmo all came through the haunt, and they Phil was like he he met everybody. So he walked right in. He was and was just like, "What's up?" You know, and he came up and just started talking to us like straight away. He was cool. That was literally probably the coolest day of my life. <laughs> right? No, seriously. I mean, I've liked Pantera since I yeah. got to see Dime when he was alive. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. never got to meet the band ever, and I, I never forget it because I was out there doing the booth and. It comes out and he's just got that shit eating grin that he does. He's like, make sure you close the booth up at a certain time, meet me in the main bullpen. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like, why? He's like, we got a band coming through. Well, I don't know a lot of the earlier bands, you know, it's that's Allie's stuff. I don't yeah. I don't know the bands. I don't care. And um <clears throat> he's just like laughing. I'm like, who is it? Who is it? And he's just laughing. And he would never tell me. <laughs> and then me and Greg was sitting down there and yeah. that van backs up. It was just me and Greg, Roddy, and uh, Andrea. Yeah. And, and you. Yeah. Were you down there? Yes, oh, you yes. Was, yeah. we, we was, was down there. there. Yeah, we yes, because was was I was making fun of Roddy waiting. Yeah. And um, that van backed up and he pulled in and me and Greg were just like. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that was the coolest. And then Phil came over and fist bumped. Or 
he shook Greg's hand. He fist bumped me or something. Yeah, yeah that was the yeah. He walked thing. right up because Phil used that to run a haunted attraction in New Orleans yep. called uh, House of Shock. That was the coolest moment ever. Yeah, but he he came right up and just started you know just started talking to those guys and <laughs> everything. They were a really cool guy. How'd that make it? I don't care? even know, dude. I that picture right there. Well, I saw you holding that axe. I'm like, well, that's going in. That's uh, that's from a beard count. Yeah, oh. but look at that. Then that just. Scare you? That scares me. That's just epic. What was the X for, Weed? It was um, one of the one of the beard club guys um, made it. He engraved the the, the head of it and uh, got all the the Mad Viking stuff on it, and they they raffled it Oops, off. Sorry, but beard beard clubs are um, competition. They're all charity. Yeah. Everything's for charity. Everything they do, you know, uh, just like that. Uh, somebody made that and donated it and. Then, cool uh, shit. then they raffle. I made the Scullies the one year. Yeah, I remember. Bus. Yeah, those were yeah, cool. They, 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 they raffle them off. And well, we did two of them here. We mm-hmm. did two years. We did beer competitions here. Yeah. That you were you were, were involved. Yeah. 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 yeah, good stuff. Mm-hmm. That axe is cool, though. Uh, oh, the axe is really cool. Jen, you got an axe like that? No? <laughs> what about what about you, Zach? You got an axe that way? I have swords. Yeah, yeah. He's a sword. Guy. I want to hear about your sword. Anyways. <laughs> good stuff. Look at that. Look at that pig. Oh, <clears throat> nice. Up against the wall and spread up against the Jeez. wall. Jeez. That was the prosthetic that I ended up having to have House and Becky make me yeah. my snout after that one, ripping that son of a bit gun off the hurt. <laughs> so Look at her all not saying son of a bitch. I was being proper. Yeah. I know. I was trying to be proper. <laughs> Sat around your, sat there around your neck there, don't. Well, that's Zach, some bacon. Zach said, what'd you say? Sp- sp- spread them. No, nope. up against the wall and spread them. Oh. Yeah. Weave used to be a actual prison guard. This is true. And he would always say, "What was that? Spread your cheeks, lift your sack, something like that." <laughs> <laughs> well, that's kind of how it went. Isn't that what it was yeah, in stop. prison? Spread your cheeks, lift your sack. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah. a male. It was a man's prison. Squat and cough. Oh yeah, and then you hear squat and cough and ding ding ding. <laughs> Okay, there it is. <laughs> the man for, for the people off camera, that means something fell out of their butt. <laughs> oh, their man wallet. Yeah. Oh, man. The prison we pocket. cannot be stopped. <laughs> we're, hey, we're, we're not going to talk about <laughs> wallets. Well, we're in a prison. Coin though. purses. Still. Yeah, don't bring the coin purse up. Here we go. <laughs> I'm not going to go there. <laughs> Sarah, next picture, fast. How, what Look we, at that. Is that you? That is Weave. No way. We that is Chase. That's got to be Chase is fifteen or fourteen now. Oh my gosh! I would Look not have recognized you. Look at Weave's I, head. I started. He, I started. I was probably still. I started growing the beard in two thousand thirteen. It'd be eleven. It was eleven years old. I would not have thought that was Weave. I had the goat the whole time because we couldn't have beards at the pretty you know nice. Like this wasn't acceptable. Oh well, yeah, that's, that's, that's not how I've ever known you. Nice yeah, girl. that's. Holy cow! I've never seen weave with that little of facial hair. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's, it's still sexy. It's just not as sexy. <laughs> as what? Yeah, I had I found that picture. I'm like, yeah, I got I got I got. Yeah. They've got to see weave. That's a classic. Without some face face hair going Who on. Who is that? That's me and Michael. That's a uh, yep. nephew. That yeah. is awesome. So that was what you would see weave doing at the Mad Effects that Lab right it. there. Every night. No shit. He wore that yep. that Leather suit. Mask. Yep. That's not how I remember no, meeting no, Weave. No, Jump out of the closet. He was always the goat. No, no. I only did the goat no. once. Yeah. The goat was a very special occasion. I only did that the was goat the, once. I, that was the first time I remember you out there. Yeah, the goat, was, there. the goat was hours of makeup. So when we were there, the first night I worked, he would come out of that closet, bathroom, whatever yeah. it was, and I was in that cage mm-hmm. <laughs> as a psycho, and I was just like, I'm Jen not having this. Huh. Jen's just like. <laughs> no, I jumped on the bars and jumped back onto that bench thing, and I got hurt a couple times. I'm like, this isn't for me. Yeah. Well, well, I got a call right where Weave works. It wasn't his fault, but I call in there because we had these real shitty little um, radios that we would use at the Mad Effects Lab. Hey, we got a problem in the in the house. I'm like, okay, so they like stop the line. I go, what the hell's going on? We had a guest actor come in, and he was wearing the Uber mask that, that you wore. Dude, and he, and he didn't, he was, that is, so the suit is like this <coughs> thick foam, and the, you know, and it's, it's got a big, like, 
it's super heavy. Tunic or People whatever. People hated that. And it's this giant foam latex mat. It's just hot as hell. And he overheated that thing. And he just blew chunks. Everywhere. So they call I me in. I get in there and I'm like, that. what is Soaked it up and the big time. Yeah. Hey. We had to clean up that puke right there where um. Yeah. Oh, that's yep. That's the weave we know. Yeah. This was the picture I think I used for the promo we did. Yeah, you're not allowed to cut your beard. That throws everybody off. He, he's talked about it oh, recently. Yeah. Nobody last would years. know you. You could probably stand and talk to me for he two hours. Braids it anymore, anyway. It's probably true. What the hell? I can't see that one. I can't. That's Zach. Oh, that's the one he, that's the, yeah. That is that's you Axel. You sent me this tiny ass little picture? No, you must have did something wrong. No, I didn't. Well, back then, Zach was what, 15? You was a little one. I was, I was, I had to have been, what, that, 15? So I would have been either 16 or 17. Yeah. Yep. Zach and this little clown. Axel. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pioneer yeah. crew. Yeah. Uh, that chainsaw drove me nuts because it was a battery pack. And it kept disconnecting, so I'd run yeah. in front of somebody. Oh, yeah. that was that fake one, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. garbage. I'd run out in front of somebody, and it would go, Rrr! and like stop. And then I'd be staring at somebody, holding a chainsaw with no noise. And yeah. I just, like one no one's Zach, no one Zach, he was probably like, burr, 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 burr. <laughs> I think it was shortly after that. I was like, You were scared. Do you have anything else that I can use? That's when you got your axe on it. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah, there he is. Look at that guy. Look at that. I am the crow. I'm going to pick up so many chicks at the Halloween party. I'm going to get so many girls tonight. This whole time I'm sitting here, I'm like, I only sent him one picture. I have tons of pictures from the reformatory. He only asked for those ones. I have a I ton was, of you I was from like, that effect. It's just going to be that one, and it's going to be done. No, you no. out of his way. No, we got more. Let's see the next one. Oh, no. Look at that! <laughs> Are you serious? Are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh, that's wrong. <laughs> Ta-da! That that's wrong. the first thing I thought. Ta-da! Who is that on the end? Oh, that's Schaefer. That's Joe. Oh, that's that's Joe Schaefer. Schaefer. He works for us at the <laughs> uh, car right now. Oh. I couldn't resist, man. No. You got paid that coming, dude. Hey. <laughs> oh, shit, I got to put up from you. Joe looks like he's got his O face going I mean, on. And know. Zach's looking like he's got a handful of Joe. I, 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 <laughs> Dude, Zach looks like he's backhanded him in the, hey, hey, in the tea bag. I, dude, I, was, like, I was a very happy person. <laughs> so was so 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 Joe. He looks pretty happy too. <laughs> well, I guess that explains you at all of our barbecues and stuff when stuff when you get jiggy with it. Oh yeah. I Z- I Zach's the first one you to karaoke. You dance. You one dance. One time, and then it got posted everywhere. So I don't do it. You, know, you do it all the time. <laughs> well, just so you know, that's Zach. That's the that's Zach the, we know and love. Widow guard right I there. Oh, that's excellent. Oh, Look at Cody. He's a beast that now. Is <laughs> that is you. Yes, it is. What's um? What was oh, that's name? hilarious. That's oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's freaking hilarious, yeah. Zach. Oh, gosh, I forgot that picture. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that wig. That wow. is. I for a second there I thought Ever JD circus. was. Wow. I know. <laughs> wow. That is hilarious. That's awesome. That is. Oh, there you go. There's some Zach. So Zach, his current role is not well started with that guard. He's a new guard now, but it, yeah. that's Ronnie, Widow, and Zach. There you go. Uh, and then uh, Michael and uh, what was Eric. Eric? Eric. Yes, Eric. Oh, Eric was uh, Kyle. Just a random white name. Yeah. Kyle. That was Chad. <laughs> We're just going to throw that out there. Uh, it was Dave. No, it was Eric. He's uh, Eric was actually a really cool guy, and he worked at Chipotle, so was he would he like... Was the slider guy? No, that was uh, Michael on the right. Yeah. Right, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yep. yep. That was, uh, yeah, that was a good year, too. 
But Zach graduated from a clown actor to out front. Actually, he was a clown out front the first time. I was. Yeah. Axel didn't go outside for the first year, yes. Yeah, and then we turned him into guards, and, mm-hmm. and we've kind of just rolled with that ever yeah. since. He was lead guards. I, I swore I had a, another picture of Zach that was really good. Oh, there, there they are. There it is. I feel like you're lying, but yeah. Maybe. I, I might be I'm, wrong. I'm, I'm very Maybe confused. that other one was the one. See, I thought that was past you, so now I'm just extremely <laughs> nervous. <laughs> uh, no. That was yeah. a really good one. I remember... Um, that is a good picture. I remember uh, Dembski actually showing us that. He actually did some editing. And stuff. Yeah, yeah. That looks like something Brian would do. Now, if you guys would look that way when we take the actual... Pro- we, we did promo pictures this year. And it's like they're smiling every single one. I'm like, guys, I can't use you smiling. You're not happy guards. Okay. How about of course, judging by that other picture, of Zach, I guess so, he is so, a happy guard. So here's the thing, though. Can you can you tell everybody the reason why we were smiling in every single picture is because some moron was behind the director making us laugh the entire time. Was that Weave? No, you. Oh. <laughs> I don't remember that. There we go. Oh that was the one. Oh my god. That was the one. I knew there was another good one in there. I was so miserable. <laughs> you looked 12. Oh my gosh. Oh my I remember that. 12 pushing. See, I, I actually vaguely remember the because I, I ended up being an Uber scene the first two nights, and then I was actually a science dude in the one lab, and then I got to be Axel. Well, after the first night of Axel, Sam came up to me and said, hey, we're a little short-handed. If we don't find somebody, we're going to need you to be overseen. So I called up one of my friends. I said, hey, man, you want to act in this really cool haunted house right. around here? Yeah, what do I got to do? You get to be this giant creature. It's going to be great. After the night was over, I walked up to him and said, hey, man, did you have fun? He goes, I'm not doing this again. Yeah. <laughs> So was the Uberstein costume more heavy than the Uber clown? The same. About the same. 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 Yeah. Cody Wilhite never bitched about Uber clown. Well, you have to he remember, wore his, that thing. His mask was a tie back. Yeah. yeah, he didn't wear that. He had that. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And Cody is, is a, a little beast. bitch. So there's that. <laughs> wow. Wow. He will crush you like yeah. a I said dick. Cody He's isn't not. a little bit. Oh, there's That's that. That's why he okay. didn't complain. I, Cody's a I, beast I, now. I think I need to play that. I don't think he said that. I'm pretty sure. I, I heard he I, is, too. I, I no. Too. I know. I no. agree with you. He is going to crush you. Yes. Oh, he is. No, me and Cody are no. cool. Yeah, Cody's a good guy. <laughs> yeah, Cody's a good guy. Yes. Okay, so this, this was a funny night, too. Another funny Zach one. So we actually knew this was going to happen. Um... <laughs> is this Brian? Is it, yeah, is Brian's it? in there. Brian, yeah, Dembski, and then me, and then you got Widow, and then you got Ronnie, and then where are you at, Zach? You're in there. Yeah, right behind. Tom Holland. Uh, yeah. Well, you're actually right behind Dan, Dan Smith. Yeah, Dan. So Tom Holland, the guy that plays Spider Man, and all the. I got two good ones on that one actually. Tom Holland, who plays Spider Man, all the current Marvel movies. Was shooting a movie in Cleveland called Cherry. No, yes, it was called Cherry, I believe. Cherry. Anyways, so the director of Infinity Wars and Endgame, the Marvel movies, also was directing this movie, and they were shooting in Cleveland. He's actually from Cleveland. Like, the Russo brothers are from Cleveland. Oh, gotcha. And uh, I believe it was Joe Russo that came that night. Yep, is is that? Uh, Ronnie and Tom. Yes, he's a huge Haunted House fan. He loves them. So... He wants to do... He, we weren't the only ones that hit that night. We were the first one. Um, but they're going to do these haunts. So they hit us, uh, Chippewa Lake Slaughterhouse, I believe, and Ghoul Brothers. I think are the three they went to. But anyways, they come down to us first. And we got the call like maybe three or four days ahead of time. And we were like, holy shit. So my friend, Bob Kurtzman, who was you know, the guy that did the Mad Effects Lab, created that. He was working on this movie. So I called him up going, is this you? Did you do this? He's like, well, they said they wanted to go to haunted houses. And we said, you got to go to the Mansfield prison. I was like, oh, thanks. So he kind of, you know, steered him down there. So anyways, I'm like, we get the call. And I'm like, there's no way I can tell the crew that this guy's coming through. He's just, he's too famous. You know what I mean? And we don't get tons of celebrities here. But um, so we just made up some bullshit story. Like, yeah, this, the first group that's going to come through is like a video vlogger or YouTube guy. Yeah. I was so mad. So, oh, my kids, because my daughter, my oldest daughter works tickets, and she's a big, big fan, and she was so pissed off at me. Like, she, like, vendetted my other kids against me because she was so mad. But anyways, 
So we get we get up there and they wanted Joe Russo's like the the necklaces and the glow bands are wearing are touch passes. They wanted to get touch passes. And we're like, okay. And I was like, are you sure you want to do this? He's like, yeah, yeah. So we give them to him and he goes, he kind of pulls me to the side. He goes, hey, is there any way you can maybe like call ahead to some of your people and make them really go after Tom? And I'm just like, just seeing just bad things happening. Cause I know our, our touch pass can get kind of rough. <laughs> and I was just like, um, I can. <coughs> I said, if that's what you want. He's like, oh yeah, it's going to be great. Well, Tom Holland is British. He, they don't really do haunted houses over there very much, and he'd never been to one. So we were actually the first haunted house he's ever been to. So I'm like, okay. So I get on the radio, and I'm like, all right, guys, Purple Touch Pass, that's the guy you want. And, like, zone leaders are just like, yep, we got it. We're on it. I'm like, oh, God, this is going to be bad. So we go through there. They go in, and he goes, what does that mean? What's a touch <coughs> pass? And Big Joe was up there, and he goes, at me, and Joe is this big guy and he's got these Huge giant hands. banana fingered hands and he's just like, it means this. And he like grabs Tom Holland by like the throat and like, and I'm just like, uh, hands off, man. You know, I can't had, afford him. He had no idea. Oh no, he didn't know. He, he didn't care. No idea. So anyways, they go through and by the end of the, we saw about halfway through and he was like, are we done? We're done now, right? And he's like, eh, no, not yet, man. Sorry. <laughs> And he's like, oh, God. So by the time we got to the end, he was having a great time. He was having fun with it. And we had him come out. We wanted to do some pictures. So we did the picture. And when I first told Weave, I was like, all right, listen. I go, I was waiting I'm, for this. I'm, go- I'm going to tell you he's coming tonight. And he was like, Weave's like, oh, okay. Yeah. And I was like, so the guy that plays Spider-Man is coming through tonight. And I'm thinking like, I don't know be, who he is either. He goes, I guess he goes, oh, T- Toby Maguire? And I was just like. <laughs> I had no idea. I don't know was, this ain't 2003. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't know either. Uh, what's said, wrong with you? It's 2019. This is like, no. I was like, no, Tom Holland. He's like, oh, I don't, I don't know who that is. I don't either. I, was I, like, don't okay. know, I don't I don't know who it is either. I hope you don't recognize me. So we, we get through to the end, and we're taking pictures. And I'm like, all right, we got through this without any bullshit. Well, Zach kind of was like, he's looking at him like, Wait a minute. And, and then he comes up to me and goes, hey, hey. And I was like, what? What's up? He goes, is that? And I go, you know who that is, don't you? And he's like, oh, my God. And I'm just like, calm down, bro. I, I eternally freaked out. He goes, he goes, why didn't you tell us? I go, this is why I didn't tell you right here. But he had a great time, and that was really fun. And, you know, it was, it was cool. It was, you know. That's awesome. Super sweet guy. And he was, I mean, he just, it was great because he shaved his head for this movie. So he just looked like just some kid. You know, he didn't really look like anybody that was, you know, famous. What had me worried was, um, the uh, there was another guy in this movie, uh, Bill Skarsgård. Is that his name? He plays the clown in It, in the new yeah, It. Yeah, the taller guy. Yeah, and I was like, oh god, I hope he if he comes, I, I was worried that you know our crew would recognize that guy, but he didn't end up coming down. So it was just like Tom Holland and Joe Russo, and then like some supporting actors from that movie. But that was a fun night as well. That was actually well, it was fun, but it was. Very hectic because they were the first group in. That was the deal. We'll come down, but we got to be the first ones in. Okay. And they were late. Yeah, they were late. Uh, so we didn't actually get them into the haunt until like 7.15. Yeah. And people outside were just like, what, the, what is going on, you know? But that was fun. That was, that was a cool night. That was a really cool experience. And, you know, it was good. Oh. There's Zach and me. How the hell did that picture get in there? <laughs> no, he grew up. Yeah, look at that. Now he's like, what is that guy on Family Guy? Herbert the Pervert. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about you, right? No. <laughs> you look like him. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, got a, I got a popsicle in my cellar for you. <laughs> he does look a little like Chris. You can count to eleven if you. Chris, who? Oh, Chris, oh, and, and uh, yeah. You. Oh, me? Yeah, I mean, if he's Herbert, you're gotta be Chris. Oh Jesus! Oh God! No! Why do I gotta be Chris? <laughs> That's a good call. Don't See? Yeah, yeah, I never thought about that. Never mind, I'm Hubert, I'm the old man. Oh, there we go. Oh. I purposely didn't send you that. 
Look I found at it. you all poserish. <sighs> Look at me. I am that? at the haunt tonight, and I'm taking me a selfie. I, I literally, every night of that haunt, I told my work I would not work that day, and I arrived like two hours early every single day because of how excited I was. Sam looked at me like I was insane. You are insane. I literally and there. every, like, he has grown up a little bit now because he's a little more private with his selfies, apparently. Because, like, if you go to Zach's Facebook or Instagram pages, it's all selfies of him in the shitter. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> They're so out of that is, No, it's true. It's, I said in the shitter, not on the shitter. It's like, literally, he's in there in a bathroom. It's like every bathroom. He's like, you know what? Got to get a... Yeah. <laughs> that looks like that should be like a his it dating is. site profile. Yeah. Oh, that's it is. That's a, that's on Tinder for sure. He's oh, modeling or something. I know. Wow. Yeah. So there you go. It's a big Zach. Uh, hey. Nice. Hey. So there we go. That should, that should. I'm pretty. Yeah. That's the last picture. Big. So I mean, yeah. You know, it was um. Good stuff. Good times. That was. You know, and. I, I hope you guys stick around for a lot longer and we can keep doing this, oh, absolutely. you know, years and for years to come for sure. Because, uh, I mean, I know like, you know, Jen is here pretty much full time and it's, it's fun to do this job full time. It really is. I mean, it's, you know, there's things you can do that you don't get to do everywhere else, which makes this job just even, even during season, like the incarceration stuff and the Christmas shows and then just the times getting together. The people that don't want you to like, like there was people that's like, nah, you know, you're don't make it a family environment. It's like, I'm doing that because it's, it's, um, you guys are like family. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, I got two family. I got the haunt home and I got home home and I try to keep them separate. But you know, like my daughter worked here this past year, my daughter, Faith, um, she worked in the house and she worked. She, she helped worked, us with the cleanup. She did the cleanup and I, I had her go through and she worked with Dawn for a night. She worked with um, the, all the stoplights and different places in the house. And before she was deathly afraid to even come in, like she didn't want to go in. Like she, I could not get her in to just walk through. And like Jen and Kylie and Kenzie and like the people in the house, they really like, you're good. Come on. We got mm-hmm. you. Yep. And now she'll okay. go through, because like when we were doing the build, like she was so scared, we had a water line break during the build. Oh, God, yeah. And they were like, hey, we got to go downstairs. And she was convinced that it was a prank and that we were going to scare her somehow. That's how scared I didn't she was. Know that. Yeah. But now she just, she goes right in and, you know, she walks through and it's, it's not a big deal anymore. She does. She walks the cell blocks by herself. Yeah. And I think it was the first night she uh, followed me through. Yeah. And she kept saying to me, well, well, what do you mean we're walking through and the lights were still on? And I was like, you're fine. You got it. Yeah. So she followed me through and I said, all right, we got to go through again. She goes, but the lights are off. I said, yeah, <laughs> I know that. And that's why it's going to be all night. She's yeah. like, oh boy. Um, after the third time, she actually came up to me at one point and goes, are we going through again now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She really took off. And <laughs> she did. She was good. Working that's too. what, that's what, you know, my point is the, the family part of it where it's like, I know that like I could, if I left and my daughter was here, I would not think twice about leaving her with you guys because I know you take care of her and that's what family does and I and I appreciate you guys and I try to take care of you guys as best I can um when I can but um that's what that's you know kind of what I I love about this more than anything is it's like I've got so many more friends now that I had before not that I didn't have friends or anything I I have a ton of friends all the time but um I got a lot more now and you know I'm glad it's you guys you know especially you Weave You better stop. We know you have a special relationship. We do. I know. Yeah. I know. We're not going to talk about that. This no. is a this is a family. This is a different. Yeah, yeah. It's a family podcast. We're trying to be family oriented here. Yeah, that's, that's, it's that's, the bro code. That's, that's the pro, that's the podcast after we leave. Yeah, that's the Blood after prison hours. after dark. Yeah. Shake oh, down, there we shake go. Down after yeah, dark. That's the shake, shake down, down after, after dark. dark. Yeah. Yeah, that'll that won't be family friendly. No. That's for sure, especially with those two in here. No. That one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not prepared for anything like that. So, it's, I it's, are you usually prepared? Oh well, he's always he's always. Prepared. We've we've kind of runs on his own uh, clock. Yeah. Hey, and we've uh, we're doing this. We got to be there at six. Well, 
I don't know. I'll, uh, yeah, well. Six a little early for me. He's not Six ish. You know, and I'm just like. He's not wrong. Yeah, it's true. I'd fight with him if he's lying. (laughs) But you know, it's because you've got the pimp mentality. Yeah. Oh, he does. He's got the pimp lean, the pimp walk. The pimp walk. Yeah. I mean. You got a bad back and I walk funny, you know. How many times have you threatened to smack me with your hand? Well, that's a whole different Mm. We've here's one thing we gotta do just just one one more time one more time before this is all said and done. We gotta get weave just one night. Half a night one, acting. One night. Yeah. Acting. Doing something. We'll see. You can, wherever you want. You can even pick your character. You can play beefy cheesy or peepee. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even go there. Yeah. We're talking about the heart. Right. Yeah. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of prep do I do? I do I have to, <laughs> like do I have to really do the prep for that, or for the cheesy one? Cheesy yeah. one, you would definitely have to prep. It'd take about a week. A week at least. Yeah. yeah. I could do it though, I suppose. <laughs> Get a nice note, Gouda. Sure anybody want that? But okay. No. <laughs> we had this. We had this girl the first year here that um, decided to, to piss her pants. In the costume. More than oh, once. God. Yeah, more than once. Oh. And she was, um, you know, she kind of, she, she bitched a little bit because she didn't feel that she got a break fast enough. She's like, well, the zone leader's got to give us breaks because I, I, I wet my pants. We and it was like, break her, though. Well, the thing was, was like, look, if you're to the point where I'm going to piss my pants, go, just go, go ahead and go. Not in your pants, but go to the bathroom. <laughs> So she did that, and I remember the one night she was just like, I didn't piss myself, and I'm just like, oh my God. She raised what her hand do? at yeah. the end of the night yeah. meeting and announced it. Yeah. Yeah. I did and not piss my pants this I, evening. I was like, I, hey, baby steps. I don't think, yeah, that, I, mean, I don't think the makeup room was ever I still do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you know, but it, and they threw away that costume. Well, yeah. Oh, but yeah. Next that year, went straight in the trash. She said yeah. when she came back next year, she wanted to be Dina Warrior Princess. Yeah. I, I remember I that. It. I love it when, like, she said, Imagine, she, yeah. Just like Vic's face was just like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, say it again? <laughs> <laughs> there were so many firsts here yeah. that we didn't have at the old, at the old haunt. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, you know, people didn't, well, I did have to clean up puke, but, um, and he didn't even take the mask off. Like, he didn't even, like, he just, like, yeah. So, like, we took that mask, and Bob was like, is the mask? I'm like, we're, we're throwing that out. Yeah. Yeah. Not, you know, that's that's done. a gone. That would have been horrible just taking that off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that. Oh, my gosh. That. Yeah, that's. Uh... But pissing, pissing themselves. Of course, now, I'm not going to lie. Since, you know, let's, let's do a tell-all here. Because now I know, and Dawn, maybe Dawn knows, maybe Dawn doesn't know. I know what was going on in those woods on some of those slow nights. Wait a minute. What, what? woods? <laughs> At the Mad Effects Lab? Yeah. She's like, which one? Hey, yeah. I'm a hillbilly girl. If I got to pee, I'm going into the cornfield. No, I'm not talking about that. So you're, you're saying you pissed in the woods? I don't care. Yeah, okay. <laughs> There were shenanigans. Let's put it this way. I think there's probably that at most places. There was shenanigans. I worked with Kiston. There was always shenanigans. Yeah, but not those kind of shenanigans. I wasn't involved in any of those shenanigans. Sneaking off into the into the. Remember that that cabin they had that that mining that looked like the tracks went into it. I, I heard did, those was that was the shenanigans cabin. I did hear of people doing shenanigans. Yes. It wasn't me though. But well, I didn't say it was you. No. It was Weave? Okay. Yeah. Wasn't me. I'm locked up. <laughs> <laughs> no shenanigans for Weave. No. He is the shenanigan less. Shenanigan free. He is. See, I still remember the night that uh, we, I think it was a slower night. We were all outside, and it was another one of those situations where it's like, are we really going this slow? Like, where are the customers at? Oh, they're called up. Why? Oh, well, one of the customers blew through the middle barn door and knocked it completely off the engines. Yeah. Yeah, so he got so scared that they flipped out in the Uber Street hallway and busted right through the door. Oh, yeah. We've had some pretty pretty awesome injuries. Remember, we'd have to... We lined the cell blocks now. Remember that first year it was Paranormal Pin? That girl went running and cracked her forehead. Oh, yeah. Them. I'll never forget that. Because I'm like, again, that was another first where it was just like, I mean, you know, people kind of like, you know, we stumble a little bit or just, you know, but that girl... Rolls into the into the oh, mega burn and it's just a gash about that long, mm. blood pouring down her face. I'm like, she don't work here. <laughs> What's happening here? And there, yeah. the, the EMTs are like, it's fine. Heads bleed a lot. I'm like, no shit. It looks <laughs> like it. 
But yeah, she ran headlong into one of those posts in the east. She did. And the family thought that you guys were playing a trick on them. Yeah. Remember that? No. Yeah, they came had, in and they thought that you guys had put makeup on her. Oh, and yeah. And it was well, part of it. Yeah. Well, that's a, I was like, I know that ain't us. And then I remember the one girl up where the backyard of the house is now, because we it used to have this cage that went around there. We put a bunch of plants and made it look like an overgrown like greenhouse. Um, but that one oh, I cage, remember that. That one cage had, um, it was like angle iron, you know. And this girl got scared, and she ran and hit it like face first, and her lip right in the middle just. Uh, I don't remember hearing that. And she that. split her lip open. I remember seeing her, and I'm just going, "Oh my god, are you okay? I'm fine." You know, and I'm just like, <laughs> "She's." And she went to the hospital, got her lip stitched up, and came back and finished. That's freaking awesome. Yeah, she was great. There were so many people that like. The here, I remember the one guy first year, he didn't even get in because the where the house is now. Used to be just a big dark maze. Mm-hmm. That was the first year we made this. We I had this grand idea. It's like we're gonna make this dark maze, but it's gonna just totally screw people up. We're gonna we're really because our dark maze at the lab was really cool. But mm-hmm. We had so much work to do. We're gonna fuck people up with this thing. Oh, that was a mistake. Because you know when you get two thousand people at six o'clock, and they get into that dark maze, it's just like whoop, they just stop because they can't see. So we had to like do flashlights and. This one guy just rolls up there, and he just like standing there. And I was talking to him, didn't and I walked have, away, and he just didn't. We have somebody like grabbing people on the top the first year. Carl, I think Carl was doing that something because uh, it was your peepee was there because she was in the black maze. Did you stop. <laughs> I don't remember. Well, I wouldn't say her name anyways, but yeah, that's just. Um, I think that was Carl. Carl, yeah, Hunnell. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was thinking. Because he would come down it was like halfway through the middle of the maze yeah well we we built steps that you oh, could walk yeah. up there and then i think a couple people was taking squirt bottles and, and squirting people you know with like missing people like what was that but yeah we had that maze tony dodson built that maze and it was just like i mean it was just so windy and back and forth and then you got mm-hmm. to where the doll room is now and then you go in and then we made it so it was like okay we're into another part of the haunt and then as soon as you left the doll room, you just went right back into it. Mm-hmm. Another part of the maze that mm-hmm. went, then, you know, led to solitary. And I was like, oh my God, we got to change that. We've got, yeah, that was a bad idea. So I had to send, like, I remember sending you, Kisten, like, get up there and get people through it. Mm-hmm. Because it was just, it was just a jam. It was a jam up, you know? It was, too, because it was just so twisty like yeah. that, too. But it was it cool. It was pitch, pitch black. But it was fun. I mean, Black Mazes has always been cool. I think jump scares are awesome. I love the jump scares. Yeah. yeah. I'm saying I'm, I'm not scared by looking at stuff. Yeah. yeah. The jump scares, where you least yeah. expect you it. jump out of a closet or come through a wall or something. I mean, that scares you. But I'm, I'm not. Mm-hmm. I can look at anything. And not really well, the, how it all goes together, like just looking at everything, like looking at the props and, you know, um, I learned that from House and Bob and... Mm-hmm. Brian Dembski and, you know, everybody. There's just like, dude, the props got to be killer. The The scenes have got to be good. It's not to scare. It's to, you know, get them looking. And, then you, you know, you'll get your scares that way. Right. Um, but it all goes hand in hand. And it's, it's if you, I wish I would have taken pictures the first year compared to now. But you guys can all attest to it. We had, hard, like, the cell blocks was, there was oh. nothing in the East, really. Yeah, well, we. Yeah, and then we, we had we had that claustrophobia in the east. That was all we had. Yeah, and mm-hmm. then it was just like some hanging bodies and. Remember the year George came? Him and Allie, they were in my zone, and we did the zombie mosh pit for the yeah. first time. Yeah, yeah. Our full, full first yeah. full contact. Yeah, you had like a, touch pass only. Yep, you had like trampoline or not trampoline, but like a acrobat. Yeah, like padding on the walls and oh, stuff. Yeah. And people, we just, still got those. Yeah. That but that was that. rough because the first weekend it was great, but by the third weekend we only had like maybe three or four people in there, so because everyone was just like you know quitting and left and right, and it was like oh, Allison and George were like your. But I think that's what a lot of people don't even realize when they get into the haunt industry how hard and physically draining yeah. it really that's is. A, that's a, yeah, that's the big difference. You know, yeah, between it's here and there. Yeah, I mean, if you, especially if you go at it i mean you you get wore out quick oh yeah and uh i don't think people realize that a lot of times yeah well it's it's just seeing the people you know when you guys get done and like just staggering in Mm -hmm. you know because like you guys i always knew would would 
we're going all night long. You know what I mean? I'd never had to worry about you guys. You know, there's always, you know, there's people that just can't do that. You know what I mean? Right. Especially at attraction at our level. And, you know, everyone's like, oh, this is crazy. I'm like, I know attractions that do twice what we do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now, granted, they're open longer and they're, you know, in, in cities and everything. But but that's just, it's a lot. And it really is. People have a, an idea of what it's going to be until they get here uh, and start doing it. And, that's and then they you're... realize, I'm like, oh, this is this is kind of work. I'm like, yeah, it kind of is, but mm-hmm. you're not flipping burgers. You no. know what I mean? And then I don't think a lot of people realize how, I don't want to say dangerous, but like you get hit in oh, yeah. the haunt industry. Oh, yeah. and Dog got beat up in solitary. I did not get beat up in solitary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a couple times, didn't you? Nah, well, one that I know of. No, I didn't. I thought there was two yeah, or three. You got to watch your surroundings. You got to watch what people are doing. Oh, yeah. yeah. So there's a lot of even, even like accidental stuff. Like I've sure. been hit by accident before just because somebody jumped the wrong way. I touched somebody by accident. Didn't have touch pass. And I was just like, oh, oh yeah. They're. And I mean, they were that's cool, what, you know, but when I was zone leading, we would try to tell like the new people still. I mean, there was a difference between you getting a good jump scare and somebody clocking you and somebody just being an ass. Yeah. Coming through. But unfortunately, we'd lose a lot of people every year because I don't think they. Mm-hmm. They realize how physically draining it is for one, sure, and how you really. I mean, it's long nights. It it is, but you know, it's if, fun. You go, from, you know, we come over from there from that effects lab. Two hundred people a night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, our busiest night on a busy night. Yeah, our busiest night was five hundred. We did. Yeah, I remember that. People yeah. Just oh, yeah. I remember because the line was like all the way down the, the all the way down the yeah. driveway, and I was just like, "Holy shit, we got a lot of people tonight." You know, and now it's that's a that's a dude, so five hundred people. Sunday, I don't, you know, we do more than that on a Sunday. Yeah, five hundred, yeah, more like eight hundred. And I mean, it was definitely a culture shock, I oh, guess, yeah, if that's the te- yeah. technical term coming it's, here. Uh, but it was definitely go hard. You know, wasn't like it over there. You had spacing in between. You may go yeah. five minutes before you see something. Right. Here, that is honestly... Like right now, you're right back into the next group. Here and then it's especially like those of us that do the build and the tear down and all the other stuff. I mean, at some point, we may fight like cats and dogs, but I think at the end of the day, we love each other because we are oh, a family. Yeah. Yeah. And, sure. you know, you can't expect somebody to like be around somebody as often as we are without like spats or difficult, you know. Oh, but, yeah. But at the end of the day, it's we have a blast, and I've worked with some amazing people. I've learned so much. I mean, Matt this year when I was on the build team this year. I mean, mm-hmm. he, I learned so much more this year, and uh, don't learn how to do sheets. Yeah, <laughs> and, trees. and trees. Oh my gosh, we were hey. overloaded. We, actually, they're still back there. Hey, my yeah, West cell block looked amazing. It did, and her sheets. Yeah, my oh sheets. yeah, the sheets and them damn slats hey yeah. though here's the thing though all the years that i helped all the years working with tony he would just tell me what to do like he never explained how to our guy greg and who else this year dustin yeah actually taught me and country and yeah. matt uh, how to use power tools <laughs> oh <my God>. good <laughs> lord well, we were cutting down the trees. Dustin, like, he come running because I didn't know there was a safety on the Sawzall. I'm just cutting and it's <laughs> yeah. swinging. And he's he should like, be using one of those. It was fun. We oh, there's a safety on this thing? <laughs> Remember when I used the chainsaw? Upstairs? Yeah. You? That was hysterical. Dolly, we did the walkthrough backwards the last night. Oh, that's oh, I right. I remember that night, yeah. That's right. And the chainsaw was this tall off the ground. And I was holding it, waiting for them to that come through. So and they didn't know I was, you know, real. The chainsaw. So Dolly funny. would just pop up with this chainsaw till he made fun of me. Yeah. But I it couldn't was, help. You should have seen it. Well, the chainsaw was like. <laughs> yeah, this Jamie. big hair Dolly with the chainsaw. Like, oh, my God. Yeah, but Jamie's That's tiny awesome. like you, and she runs that chainsaw pretty good, too. Oh, no. Was, these were, this was a, a bigger one. Yeah, it was oh. that one that had that, like, I don't remember how big the bar on it was. But it was, yeah, it was a big one. Because Jen was just like, she looked like. <laughs> You know the little kids that sit in a giant chair and they're, that's what she looked like on that yeah. chainsaw. She, but it worked. It did. Yeah. She's so tiny though. She put, she put my cowboy boots on one time and then got in one of the clown barrels. That's all you could see was boots and barrel. It's hilarious. When Jen drives in, all you see is like top of head and knuckles. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she still will whoop every one of you guys in this room. I, I'm not, I'm you know that. I'm you know. She will. She'll whoop you better than she will. Dawn got her ass whipped in solitary. I did not. <laughs> I mean, that's okay. How many times acting have you guys been like punched? 
I got hit in the head with the candle. I remember that, yeah. That the, was recent, like a couple years ago. Yeah, the kid picked up a candle, and I told him to put it back, and he chucked it at my head. <laughs> my head hurt for, what, you. a week? Oh, yeah. And then... Yeah. Um, oh, I wouldn't shut up about it. I, <laughs> and I got uh, the wind knocked out of me by some girl. I came out in the doll room, and she uppercut me right in the stomach. Yeah. And my security happened to be in the next room, and I walked through, and I just looked at her like this, like, I'm out. And uh, she was looking at me, and I was like, I'm fine, you know. I went down, I sat for about 15 minutes, got my wind back, and went back up. Yeah. Dawn, you ever get, you ever get beat down other than solitary? <laughs> like, just get a, get a get such a good scare, someone. We're talking about at the haunt now. Yeah, at the haunt. No. Oh. I, uh, and I didn't get beat. Actually, the one <laughs> time that I got the worst injury wasn't. I, I hurt myself, actually. Because you know how I would do in solitary? It was pitch black. Yeah. And I would get kind of physical with people that had the touch passes. Yeah. I mean, I, would, I mean, if, if you had a touch pass, I'm going to get you to the ground. Once you're to the ground, I'm hog tying your ass and dragging you into a pitch black cell. That's just how it was. But I went running. Don't ask what happened in the cell. <laughs> Nobody wants to know that. Hey, <laughs> I went running and forgot that one bed was on the floor. And I tripped <laughs> over that. So, boom. That would have been amazing to watch. Oh, no. I had bruised. I think the next year is when I went security. Yeah. <laughs> that was... I Dawn, tell. like, you did so good in solitary. You got actor of the year. I did. One year. And I knew you weren't ready for that shit. I didn't. Yeah. I, I didn't. Because it was like, oh, I just do jump scares. I'm like, yeah, but you're the queen at it. And it's like, everyone that goes through there, no touch pass or touch pass. That's the key is always like, if you're good enough to get them without that. I mean, the, the touch passes are just for... A little extra. You know what I mean? But I think so many people, when they get in the haunt industry, they want to be center of the tension. Like, look yeah. at me, and everybody has to watch me. And you can get scares and be quiet. You oh, don't yeah. have to be yeah. in people's faces all the time because they expect that, yeah. which we need that. But, you know, like I've tried to tell a lot of people too, sometimes the more quiet, sneaking in and out that's because they're not expecting that no there's there's many different yes. ways it, it, it's yes. how you use it yeah i mean don't get me wrong we need our big characters where people watch that's not what i'm saying you but yeah that's where the rest of us will get in there and well get you. when those guys are out, out front oh that was another thing out front this year was so good i was not prepared for half of what i saw out front oh my gosh it was so I, good when ronnie came out as bad santa Oh, oh yeah <laughs> yeah oh yeah i was not prepared for that in the hot dog you weren't you i were. well i had never seen him do that before no, no, it's, it's so funny because half the things he said to people we probably can't say now yeah, yeah. no <laughs> he comes out and i was just like no you didn't I was um, old. I sure was. so old. this year out front um well i get the quiet part you're talking about is scaring people. So like the widow, like she screams, but like sometimes she'll just shake her keys and people will hit the floor. Oh, yeah. She had the best thing this year. I laughed until I could not laugh again. Yeah. There was this group of like 14, 15 year old kids coming through top thinking they were just tougher and whatever. And yeah. Oh, I don't care when the widow and the guards come out. They don't scare me. Yeah. Y'all shut the door for all of them to come out. That little, she chased that boy clear down the. Park. Oh, the like, one she ran. Yeah, she yeah. hiked her freaking dress up and ran after. I was dying. That was good. That was, that was excellent. So if there's bloopers in the haunt world, I would. This would definitely be one of them. Oh God! I wish I would have got video of this because like the thing started this year, where so we had these. They're called a frames, and we sit them in front of the steps so people. Because we got three sets of steps. You got to go up the middle. And everyone's always trying to go up the other one. So we put these A-frames up. And Ronnie decides one night to push one over. Well, the widow had no idea oh that was going to happen. Gosh. And I'm standing there. I'm standing, you know, just kind of watching whatever. And <laughs> she she goes to scream. And she's like, ah. And he pushed one over. And it goes, bam. Hits the ground. She's like, she turns around and looks. Dude, I, I hit the ground. I was laughing. So her face, because she's wearing the makeup, and she's got the teeth in. And for that first night, I was crying, laughing so much, because they kept knocking them over. And they were scaring the widow half the time, more than it was the guests. And it got, you know, the, it got a routine. Like, 
all the way to the end of the season. We got cut out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was Some, just this whole thing. <laughs> People just knock it over. Like, oh, but we on. start doing that, though, because we're so used to the same routine. She got me a couple of times oh, this year. Man. Yeah. She did. No one's ever scared me. But That is uh, not true. Your biggest, where was it? In the mirror room. When we, oh yeah, there was no mirror room. Oh yes, we don't even was. have a mirror room. Not it here. wasn't here. No. It wasn't here. <laughs> he's Good he's stuff. been scared. So you guys have again. Thank you for for being here and thanks for doing this with with me tonight. Of course. Um, this is going to be a good one, and I really hope that you guys are around for a long time. I love each and every one of you. Thank you again for everything. Thank you. Uh, you guys are invaluable to what we do here at Blood Prison, and uh, yeah, even we. Even me. Yeah, I told you, Jen. I did say different. We told you. You're, you're, uh, you're, you are my ace in the hole. <laughs> How about that? I don't care what Jen says. I don't care what Jen says we, about your big fat ass. I you know. are great. Soggy. I never said that. <laughs> I didn't say that. I didn't say either one of them. Yeah. You know how Vic is. I do. It you're went into some chat. Soggy bottom, soggy bottom, dude. Soggy Let, bottom let's, uh, let's make a promise to each other <coughs> that if we're all still intact next year, we'll do this again, okay? Absolutely. All right. So let's do another. We'll we do a, a OG part two. Come on. This is, yeah. OG part four. Yeah. We got it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> and uh, come you. see him at Blood Prison this season, 2024. Yeah. It's going to be good. Good stuff. Good stuff.